Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you happen to be in the world. Welcome to Trader TV Live. We're seeing North American uh, stock futures moving back to the upside as we get closer to the open. Uh, reversing early declines that we saw right across the board. We're seeing a uh, nice bounce back this morning for uh, a number of vaccine related names. We're seeing AstraZeneca shares uh, sharply higher this morning uh, after or ahead of key uh, results from their trial over at Oxford University in the UK. So we're watching AstraZeneca. We're also seeing a couple of uh, individual names uh, along with that in the vaccine space. Uh, moving to the upside, travel booking site Expedia shares gapping higher this morning after surprising with a beat uh, with their latest uh, quarterly earnings. Aurora Cannabis also to the moon so far today. Uh, after, yeah, exactly, after uh, picking up a, a, a U.S.-based CBD company. We'll talk about that on the data front this morning. Market May PMI for the U.S. Uh, that's coming out, or May data for the uh, PMI coming out at 945. And we get uh, more housing data for the U.S. out at 10 o'clock this morning. It is Thursday, May 21st, 2020. Trader TV Live starts now. And there we go. Look at uh, APAC region markets from overnight. Uh, yeah, a little bit of a, a negative showing right across the board here. Both Chinese markets there, the Hong Kong uh, market and Shanghai back in negative territory. We have the Nifty in India higher, Korea higher as well. Let's go over to Europe and have a look at how things are shaping up so far. A bit of a mixed session here at this point. England, Germany, France, Italy, all to the downside. We'll shift over to North America and have a look at uh, futures here heading towards the open. Yeah, we were uh, significantly lower when I sat down this morning, but heading uh, back to the upside here, almost back to positive territory for uh, the S&P, the Dow, and the NASDAQ, the TSX futures, uh, slight decline. Uh, we have Brazil trading flat so far. Bitcoin to the downside today, crude's higher and gold in negative territory. We had uh, a number of crazy movers in small cap world yesterday uh, that we will uh, touch on coming up uh, this morning, guys. Uh, good morning, uh, busy morning once again. AstraZeneca shares uh, the main focus so far today. Uh, we, we talked about this story, I think it was about a month ago, the uh, Oxford trial or, or study that came out uh, that was positive. Uh, initial uh, results that were positive for their COVID-19 vaccine. Uh, we're expecting the first human trial results from that study coming out this morning. So AZN on watch today. Uh, yeah, absolutely on watch. Uh, just looking at 17 on uh, ACB. I know everyone's going to be watching this. Uh, Sean 1650 break. I was looking at 1680. Someone asked if we were shorting the stock. Uh, strong answer, no. 1710 is the next level. If it fails to break that, I would actually consider shorting it at that point. Uh, you mentioned AstraZeneca definitely going to be in play uh, there, Brennan. I did have this one up, uh, but was just a little bit distracted by ACB. Uh, I do think it's going to make a fantastic possible breakout uh, through 56. But uh, first things first, I do want to show you guys the numbers from yesterday. As usual, strong day. Uh, someone exclusively in the New York pulling 20,000 out of there. ACB uh, trades on the New York, so maybe that's a, co maybe that's a coincidence, maybe not. Uh, we did see 20,000 out of some European traders, 15 again at number three spot, and then number four and five, 14 and 13, heavy trading in the US in one case, and then heavy trading in Europe in the other one, guys. So it does go to show you go where the play action certainly is going to be in the US market today. It really feels like it's going to be ACB, and AstraZeneca should be a mover as well, Sean. Yeah, I mean, again, guys, it, it, it just keeps on going, guys. Check my Twitter, uh, check out the watch list and uh, whatnot. But uh, yeah, I already had this one. Uh, we're already long. We're out of, uh, actually, now 50%. Uh, long 1650 here, uh, out 1670, out 1690, out 17. Now you're 17 and a half. So this is a 50 cent winner already. So some say mac and cheesy, some say lemon squeezy. But either way, it's pretty easy, Brendan. <laughs> there we go. Uh, mac and cheese for breakfast. Why not? Uh, yeah, ACB. Uh, somebody talking about possibly shorting ACB. You got to give it to 16. I think uh, below 16, possibly. Otherwise, definitely uh, positive news. Obviously, moving higher. Uh, let's go over to the desk and uh, check in with Valeria. Good morning. 
Good morning and hello everyone. Welcome to Trader TV Live. Guys, if you're passionate about day trading, if you want to learn or improve your trades, you're at the right place in the right time. Subscribe to our channel and catch us live every day at 9 a.m. Eastern Time. And of course, hit the thumbs up. It's our tradition to reach more than 200 likes before the open. Yesterday, I believe, we reached 300 likes before the market opened. And guys, yesterday we reached 1,000 likes in total. Let's go. Let's break all the records. Also, shout out to our viewers, Matt and John, for sending us super chat. Guys, thank you, and I wish you a very profitable day. Also, sign up for our everyday watch list. Link on the chat. Just hit it and put your name and email address. Guys, a lot of you writing on the chat that you received the email but not the watch list so guys just uh, slide it down or up and it should be right there and guys also we have some announcements for you today so stay tuned hit the thumbs ups and I'll see you later back to Brandon great stuff thank you Valeria we're gonna jump into uh, the futures here with uh, Arun Arun in-house once again this morning we'll talk about the ES here and see what uh, levels Arun is looking at uh, another uh, you know looking like a positive day here Arun what uh, what are you thinking so far as far as the ES is concerned yeah you know volumes have been pretty light today um, so I'm actually looking for it to carry through just the overnight movement not a whole lot in terms of activity over the top so I'm seeing some buying around 29.40. Between 29.40 and 29.60, we just went through 60 and come back down. I've actually got a bid out at 29.70, 57.75. So if we can kind of get back under there, I'm willing to take a long there. There's a touch of selling just above the 60. I'm willing to go against it. I'd rather lie. I like the amount of buying that I'm seeing between 40 and 60. So I'm okay with taking the shot there. Um, we'll see though, we're back at that 75 level I, I talked about on Tuesday, right? So if we're back at that 75, we go and we take it, we really have a chance at taking the 3,000. Question is, is it going to be done today or is, are we going to do it the day before a holiday, which would be tomorrow? Or are we going to do it at some point next week? Who knows? But I'm really looking forward to the 75 being taken. I'm willing to take a shot at the 60, just, uh, just over the 60 at this point with the 40 as a level. So we'll see how this one plays out for me today. Yeah, we saw that uh, overnight big sharp uh, run up. I think it was uh, Tuesday morning from uh, Monday overnight into Tuesday morning. We tagged that uh, 29.75 initially yep. and then we got back up there. Uh, obviously yesterday to the downside here, I mean, there's a little bit of a gap all the way down at 28.73, I guess. Uh, still, you know, hasn't been touched uh, since we were down there. What levels to the downside do we look at? I mean, the first one today I would look at is 40, which is the overnight low, right? After that, I think 20 is a real chance. You see the amount of clustering we're getting here, which tells me there's a decent amount of activity here. So 20 would be the next level. Um, at that point, really, to get to that, it's going to require some sort of news headline at this point. The market's not going to do it on its own because it seems like we're going into holiday volume already with the coronavirus already taking effect, already uh, limiting volumes, but now we're going into holiday as well. So you're going to see a lot of people take uh, days off. You might see a move at the beginning in the first half an hour, and then the market just kind of dies off. It, that's a real possibility, whether that's today or tomorrow. Again, that remains to be seen. But just understand there is a holiday coming, right? So you're going to have volumes muted a little bit. Yeah, heading into a uh, long weekend. Great stuff. Thanks, Arun. Uh, we'll uh, check in with uh, Arun again uh, coming up uh, maybe later in the day, possibly. But uh, for the time being, we'll get going here on individual names. Uh, we had a uh, really nice uh, move to the upside. We were talking about AstraZeneca. Uh, obviously, 4% uh, move to the upside uh, in the pre-market this morning, guys, ahead of uh, this uh, data that's expected. In the near term, they're saying possibly today, possibly tomorrow, but uh, Oxford University human trials on their COVID-19 vaccine uh, candidate. Uh, they also said they've uh, ramped up production of this vaccine already and are going to be able to produce a billion doses if, if the key word there, the trial is positive, guys. So AZN, the first one we'll have a look at. Yeah, I, we kind of teed this one up a little bit. Just sort of, I know someone was in the chat talking about consolidation higher here. It is up that 4%. Uh, you don't have any real levels to the upside, so we're just going to look at the pre market action. Uh, 56 looks like an interesting breakout point. Uh, there was a bit of buying action at, at this 55. Uh, 35 to 40 mark if it were ever to get back down there again. So uh, I think there might be some support in any kind of a dip. First thing I'm looking at is the chance to buy this one on a breakout trade, uh, sort of using that level we just identified to the downside as your first out uh, at the
at the market open. I don't love uh, AstraZeneca normally uh, for a pre-market trade, but if it happens to trigger a little bit early, it has done some solid volume at 1.5 million shares. So that looks reasonable. Uh, ACB turned around a little bit past that 1710 mark that I was sort of looking at here. Uh, so I will look at the retracement to 1680. We're inside of the range that I was looking at uh, right now. I'd love to see it get out before I uh, enter a larger position. So I'm either adding more to it in front of 1680, right at that price, or it could break 1710 again. 15 actually is the high, and we add more long there. Uh, AZN, yeah, I just wrote down uh, 56, so uh, we'll wait to see. It's going to break through 56 right now. Would love to, uh, to break it through and, and trade it. And uh, just kind of like this ACB trade here, we'll talk about that in a minute, but I don't want to take anything, uh, too many shares in the pre-market. So uh, that ACB 60 cent winner was a great one. And I think AZN runs, uh, we've seen it happen to, um, I was going to say BS COVID uh, companies, and this is going to be a real one. So I think this one uh, takes off and just keeps going going on uh, forever and ever and ever. The key on that, I think, guys, the uh, the actual release of this data not guaranteed to happen today. The price action in the stock obviously pointing towards uh, the release coming today. But uh, we will let you know as soon as it does uh, pop out. I'm sure the stock will go crazy either direction. Uh, yeah, the uh, ACB news, obviously, aftermarket yesterday, guys, they acquired U.S.-based CBD company Reliva. Uh, the move allows uh, Aurora to enter the U.S. CBD market. Uh, Reliva shareholders receiving uh, $40 million in an all stock deal here, so 40 million in shares of uh, Aurora. So, uh, big move to the upside, obviously, for ACB. Let's go on to uh, Disney here. Uh, big run up into the close yesterday. There was reports that uh, they were planning to present park reopening plans to Orange County Reopening Task Force in California coming up today. Uh, they came out after market and said, yeah, that's actually not going to happen. So, uh, we're still awaiting those plans, but uh, Disney kind of flat, actually, still in this range from yesterday afternoon guys yeah well I, I took that long yesterday and was able to make two or three dollars uh, when that did happen uh, but I want to go back to ACB uh, okay ACB right here guys bouncing off 17 I just want to I mean a lot of you guys talking about this we will get to Disney in a bit and I'll be trading that today for sure uh, but 1716 here that's the new top so I wouldn't be doing anything here on uh, Aurora until we break through the top of which case we'll go long again uh, if you look here at the uh, daily range uh, we topped out here 1750 uh, 1740 or so uh, on ACB so that's sort of where uh, I'm looking right now and someone said it's my favorite stock it's not my favorite stock. I don't even really like to trade these names uh, too much, but when the action is there and the money's there, uh, we've already taken a smooth 50 cents uh, on the 60 cents uh, to the high side, and I think there's going to be more there. Um, I'll let Neil talk about Disney, but I have lots of thoughts as well. Yeah, sorry, uh, just uh, AstraZeneca, we did get triggered in at 56. We're up at 56, uh, 35 or so, and like Brendan mentioned, because you know it's going to be news-based and you have no idea when the release is going to come in, going to be scalping some out here. You get 10 cents first, we'll take 30. Then we'll look for a bigger move, maybe a dollar or so uh, towards the upside. Really, you don't have uh, any firm targets. We'll just let the momentum carry us. We do have a support level that we like as well. You know, as far as Disney goes, uh, in the daily chart, we are moving up. We did have uh, a previous high worth looking at, which was at 120, which we're basically rallying around right now. Uh, so I was looking at 120.50 to 85 as a bit of an area. If it gets in there and fails, roll over on Disney. Uh, all you can support down at 117.20 uh, for me. That's the only price levels I'm looking at for Disney. Otherwise, I don't know how active I'll be in it. I think AstraZeneca, uh, you know, ACB. The small caps actually haven't been good today. We'll talk about that a little bit later, but these uh, bigger names seem like they're going to be the better plays. Yeah, small cap rolled uh, really strong so far, to say the least, in uh, the pre-market. We'll touch on a few of them coming up here. Uh, Best Buy reported, guys, uh, earnings news for Best Buy. Uh, they reported quarterly adjusted earnings of 67 cents per share uh, for the quarter ending in April. That's uh, compared to expectations of 44 cents per share. Obviously, a large percent of that happening on uh, online on the internet. Revenue fell though, 6.3%, eight, uh, basically eight and a half billion from a year earlier, 8.16 billion. So a little bit of a negative look here to start the day. I'll shift that over so you can see it. 3.8% uh, for BBY to the downside. Yeah, I mean, uh, retail names price, uh, sure. continue to be uh, pretty weak. And I mean, here, here's another one, Best Buy. Uh, we'll be fading that one. Here's the trade I was talking about on Disney yesterday. Uh, you could see when the news came out here, uh, and this is where we went long. It broke through the day's range here, 17, 1725. Uh, and then yours truly takes this here, about 117.50. Uh, out, out, out. And then our best out, this is just what I tweeted out. Um, and then the, our best out here yesterday was about 119 and change or so. So 
we get one, two, three out. But look, look what happens here when the volume comes in. Disney definitely a stock that wants to go. And uh, when you're looking at that on a daily chart, we'll put our Twitter away. But definitely, uh, guys, try to follow me on there, and we'll talk about that uh, more and more. But uh, here's Disney. There's that move yesterday, and here's where it stops, guys. Uh, 119. 75 or so so when we come in today that's right where we are again 119.75 i don't know if we touch this top uh that got going you know right near the end of the day again wow 121 didn't even realize that uh my best disney buy uh, i actually was able to get some uh down at 80 dollars believe it or not it's unbelievable that I actually went long disney down here but uh down here i am still long disney about an average of one i don't know 104 105 Got some out 116 the other day. I like 122 uh, on a break of Disney, so we'll watch on that one. BBBY though, guys. Uh, yeah, down now 4%. I wrote down, I mean, I sent out my, my uh, watch list there. I didn't even write down uh, Best Buy. 78 break is something exciting, but uh, I'm not overly thrilled with this one. A lot of other names are. And I don't know, Neil, you have any ideas on Best Buy? Uh, <laughs> if, if it came up and gave me an entry point, like maybe breaking some of these shorts out, breaking 80, and then giving me a shot to short in front of 81, I'd like that on Best Buy. Uh, I was looking at that 77, 80 at the bottom. You sort of go back a few sessions, and you have 7780 as a decent level there outside of that not too not too sexy of a stock for me today i do think if there is any kind of a rally i'll see if i can't fade it but uh uh, Best Buy, I don't know how heavy we're going to be on this one. AstraZeneca, uh, just an update. It just got to 5650, uh, turning around a little bit. Still hanging on to a third. Uh, a great question by Simon before we get back to you, Brendan. Uh, uh, keeps, we'll, we'll try to say this. If you see in the bottom, you'll see our positions, but also our last trade. So if you see an S next to something like an ACB or AstraZeneca, it could just be selling out of shares that we bought to take some profit or to, co or to cover on a stop. It doesn't mean that we're short the stock. It just means that we sold. We could have been long and took some off. So uh, pay attention to the uh, actual position board, and we'll give you our positions uh, real time as often as we can. Brendan, what's next, buddy? Uh, Macy's, guys. We had uh, J.C. Penney earlier in the week shifted over to OTC because of a bankruptcy. Uh, Macy's out this morning uh, with a pretty ugly profit warning saying uh, Q1 uh, uh, losses could total $1.1 billion. Uh, because of COVID-19, they were forced to obviously shut down uh, stores. They also forecast first quarter sales in the range of three billion to three point zero, or yeah, three billion to three point zero three billion. That was down from five and a half a year earlier. So, uh, I mean, a, a lower price stock here, already two million shares, guys, in the pre-market, uh, down one and a half percent. I mean, what do we do as far as Macy's here, another one in the retail space that's worth a short, possibly? <sighs> The story with Macy's around the sort of $5 area has been, look, you sort of look at the daily chart and see how sleepy it's been. The only trade you really had is occasionally when it breaks it, maybe it'll saunter on the way down to 480 and there's a scalp trade in there. So uh, I guess you can leverage up and take some small scalps. It's usually a one and done style trade. It, it hasn't been too enticing for me to be perfectly honest. The volatility isn't there. You have a better shot of it moving upside to about this 530, 535 mark. And then each time it's gotten there, it's been a good fade opportunity on these bigger bounce plays so if it gets up away from five dollars that's been a better play uh, the last few days even weeks uh, on Macy's so I, I, I might try something if it holds below five get a scalp but otherwise I want to fade 530 if it gets up there I wanted to look here to see what's on. Uh, yeah, I'll be all over Macy's and we'll be punching that through the bottom uh, for sure. Uh, okay, so AZ ends on here with a buy of uh, 300,000, 400,000, I guess. Uh, here's my boy here, ACB going uh, nuts uh, today, another 1.6 million shares. Uh, here's Alibaba. We'll talk about that. Uh, I don't know if, you, if it's on our list or not, but uh, we will talk about Alibaba today. I'm going to be all over that one. I've loved Alibaba, but then obviously you got the news yesterday uh, about the Chinese are going to have to uh, step up their regulation game here on some of those uh, Chinese names, uh, meaning that they're just going to have to do what every other company on the NYSE and NASDAQ have to do, uh, and that is properly file and, and, and disclose. So uh, Alibaba's here, AstraZeneca's here, ACB is here, uh, Delta here shout out to uh, Robert there again nice little move let's see if Delta can't uh, you know take out some more levels to the upside right now flat but uh, yeah, nothing too spicy here I like to go over some of these NYC imbalances with you guys before uh, we get trading and nothing uh, super great but I do like Macy's to the short side obviously they're not JC Penny by any stretch of the imagination but um, they are not doing well prime day September uh, will be normal C right here for Amazon. I'm seeing that on the, on the wire. So uh, apparently their shipping will be all fixed up 
by shipping time, Prime Day September, Brandon. Uh, another one with uh, China ties uh, that we did have on our watch list uh, today, guys. Uh, Baidu uh, out this morning, significantly lower because they said they're thinking about or considering delisting from the NASDAQ. So yeah, in that same kind of uh, Chinese uh, category, uh, we'll touch on that. Uh, hopefully we'll have time here. We gotta get going. Uh, Luck and Coffee, guys, back on watch this morning. Uh, obviously down significantly, resumed trading yesterday uh, for the first time in more than a month after the halt, after being accused of uh, some uh, financial misconduct, we'll call it, uh, at this point. Uh, they apparently fabricated transactions, guys, totaling $310 million. So they fired all of their executives and uh, are trying to get back on uh, good uh, standing, I guess, with the uh, U.S. markets, but down again today, 9.5%. Uh, we actually had that big pop in the morning yesterday. So, I mean, we haven't broken that low from yesterday morning. So how do we approach this? I mean, it's a low break, so I think we'll be looking at that one. I, the levels we had yesterday, 280 was a fantastic one, 270. Uh, 270 was okay, but I really like fading into 280 if we can and starting a position at that 270 mark. 230, 240, uh, look, we'll see if it breaks to the downside. I think with this one, uh, you know, it's a couple of days now. You're probably looking at a little bit less volatility, so I don't know if you'll get those 30, 40 cent moves that we had before, uh, but you can certainly be active and try and scalp those 5, 10 penny winners. So use, a lo lo use those levels. Uh, we will be looking for that. That low break that you mentioned on Luckin, uh, Brennan. But other than that, I, I really think uh, you got to be patient with that game. Feels like there's going to be better movers. Uh, I said uh, maybe we get a dollar on AstraZeneca. Uh, I'm going to think about where I want to trail this one. It's already up 80 cents, and it's not even the open yet. I don't feel any. I don't feel like when I have the momentum on with me uh, that I should be taking this trade off before the open. So uh, we're going to hang on here in AstraZeneca, uh, see how far this one can go. Uh, we did get that 56 break. We'll see if it can't uh, zoom past 57 even here. You know what, I see that uh, talk here about Pinduo Duo there. Yeah, I mean, Pinduo Duo is a good stock uh, that we've been trading and it does uh, move quite a bit. This is actually not a horrible name to look at here uh, on that Chinese news like we talked about. 6250 uh, down to 60 yesterday before uh, evening out. Uh, this, this is one of those companies uh, as well. So is JD.com. Uh, that's another name here on the Chinese space. Uh, look at this dramatic move down uh, here when this got released. So this is a little bit early, but 55 What's wrong with my voice? $55 all the way down here to $51 uh, before battling back. So uh, if some of this Chinese news is coming, uh, even worse than it is. Again, Trump has to uh, pass the bill. Whoa, ACB. Okay, hello now. Uh, 55 cents. We're back to the high side uh, on ACB. We still got 30% left uh, of this trade, long 1650. Uh, ACB breaking out. I gave this one to everybody uh, as well on the watch list. So here we go. It's getting closer and closer to open here and doing a lot of volume here. Uh, ACB ripping upside right now uh, this is a 60 cent winner right now guys oh even more wow I just got out again uh, 1725 I like to sit in front of 25s but there we go guys this is a dollar winner on a $16 name so yeah we punched this one on the face to start the day hope you guys have that guys and uh, yeah AZN great great trade there by Neil as well so uh, two big trades and uh, the trademark banger trades back-to-back -back jacks here guys let's go all right, guys, let's go to uh, Baidu here. Another one uh, we mentioned. I uh, just want to make sure we get to this before the uh, open. 109, 108.50 to 109 was significant uh, yesterday in the afternoon. Uh, there came out this morning, obviously, as we mentioned, said uh, they're considering delisting from the NASDAQ to uh, up their valuation. So uh, how do we approach uh, Baidu here? Another one in the uh, China space, obviously the uh, Chinese, I guess, equivalent of uh, Google, guys. The thing with the, with Baidu, I'm a little, at least a little bit surprised that this thing didn't get all the, that it, sorry, that it did get all the way back to support from uh, the, the evening yesterday. Uh, so it got all the way back to this 108, 109. I kind of thought we'd hold below this 106 in the pre-market after that dump that we got. The first level I was looking at was 108.70, which is getting very, very close. And uh, I'm going to take a shot shorting it. It's just pr pretty much that simple. Uh, whether or not it's going to be on a breakdown or whether it's going to be on a fade into that 108.70 to 109. Uh, either way, 107 off the open looks like a good play to me. We'll take one crack at that. Uh, three long, and I'm going to find a short here possibly in Baidu, or it breaks up to this 109. Uh, you see this also level here, 109.70. That's your target area uh, for entering a short on the move to the upside. So I will take a crack at Baidu to the short side. Uh, it's all longs right now. I have XN XTNT, which reverts to the long on a small cap space after losing on a short, and then AZN and ACB. Uh, so uh, hopefully we can add a short to it if the uh, market... Uh, cooperates. It is moving back in towards hopefully positive territory here, only 0.1 away on the ES.
Yeah, who hit that uh, Valeria floss there? Uh, yeah, so there it is. We're getting a lot of uh, comments there. I don't have that button, so you guys are going to have to uh, hit the Valeria floss. But what I do have is this, because it's already one of those days here. And there it is. Get that money. Uh, ACB already running to the top side there. Uh, big trade for me. We're already up very, very decently already uh, to start the day. So uh, we'll, we'll look at some names. Baidu's going to be on the list. Uh, for me, though, I've talked about it a couple times. I love Alibaba. We talked about it yesterday. Made a decent, decent trade. Uh, a little bit of money on that one yesterday. I'm talking about this bottom here, 210, 211. Let's see if that does hit. I have no idea uh, what the market's going to do. 70 cent winner right now on ACB. No idea what the market's going to do here uh, with Alibaba today. I mean, look, it, the market doesn't even know. Up to 213, back down to 211 and change. So uh, you've got some up and down swings here happening uh, on Alibaba. And, and I, I'm not going to go long. I'm just going to wait uh, for down here, 10, 10, 50, 10, 210, something like that. Uh, we'll be going short on Alibaba, but we're going to wait uh, for the market to tell us in roughly four minutes. Yeah, about uh, four or five minutes to go here, guys. Let's touch on the airlines. The group very strong yesterday, back in positive territory today. Delta, real quick here, you can pull up any of them, but Delta will touch on uh, the CEO out aftermarket yesterday saying that he expects uh, domestic flights to be back to almost full capacity by the end of this year, and then international flights to resume by early 2021. So DAL, nice little look here. It's consolidating above this 2275. I mean, 23 up here, obviously a little bit of resistance from yesterday as well. Uh, the entire group, though, was strong yesterday, guys. What do we do with the airlines today? If the market gets going, I think it's sort of a breakout play. It's certainly going to be uh, the potential in Delta. 23 even would seem like an obvious one. I think uh, similarly to ACB when it broke 17 there, 1710 was just as key. So you'll see the same thing play out here with Delta 23 and then 2310 yesterday's top. So just make sure on a breakthrough uh, that you get through that first chop. So I'm sorry, just going to take a few shares out here uh, on, on ACB. It just broke uh, up to 1735. Uh, XTNT, sorry, Brendan, I got to get to this one because I, I don't want to miss out. I know we, you, you guys see me every single day. I like to fade some of these shorts, and I mentioned in the chat, uh, you know, when you have, a, when you have a, a company disclosing a large share, a lot of times the next step is a, is a buyout. So I short this pre-market, I get a nice little dip, I'm feeling pretty good about myself, uh, making some money short side, and then it, make, it makes a big test at a key level at 250. Uh, for whatever reason, I did dip in short again like a chump, uh, get out. I reversed to the long finally, uh, but too heavily shorted at 210. The 230 shirt was okay. Uh, but here, way too late to get this reversal. It's now testing the high. I'm going to hang on to some shares. You saw me actively getting out uh, in front of this little wick here, 260. Uh, we'll hang on to see if it takes out high of the day at 285. That could be an interesting one. Brendan, I know you've got another at the big screen. Yeah, one we were looking at the past couple of days here, guys. NNDM, Nano Dimensions, that little tiny micro cap. Uh, I'll shift over to here so you can see yesterday morning we had that huge uh, flush off of the offering. So they came out with a share offering. Uh, we bounced right back up to almost $5, I think it was uh, yeah five dollars up here halted a number of times on the way back up uh, eventually works its way down to uh, about three bucks sat along three for the entire afternoon so just watching 280 which was kind of the bottom end of this uh, consolidation then 310 at the top here so we're below that right now really like the way this one looks guys heading towards the open definitely weak back to you all right, if Brendan likes it, then I should like it as well. So NNDM, uh, I probably won't trade it, but uh, we'll watch that one uh, coming through. Uh, look, uh, Aurora now, uh, we're, we're basically out. We have 20% uh, of what's left, and we've already done this a little bit, but it's wheelbarrow time, and it's not even, the market hasn't even started yet. I know a lot of you guys can't trade free markets, so uh, when you're seeing those things on XTNT or uh, ACB and whatnot, um, if you have to wait for the open, uh, there's always some key levels that are going to be coming through. So uh, that's why I tweet out those charts. I see Marsha there. I tweet out some key support levels as well. So uh, find me on Twitter and uh, we'll, we'll have some fun uh, over there talking about key levels. I gave everyone the 1650 uh, and I know a lot of you guys hit that. So that's where the wheelbarrow uh, comes from. But right now, uh, CCL, we didn't really talk too much about that. Uh, that could hit this bottom side again. 1380, 1385 or so. We'll wait to see if that comes through. I don't know. Again, today, man, the market is flat. I mean, 0.81. How often have we seen this coming into the day? Uh, normally, the market's up or down a couple hundred points, and uh, today we're flat. So uh, we'll wait to see, uh, you know, what the market wants to do here. So uh, CCL and Macy's. I mean, uh, these are two stocks that I'm going to be looking at off the top here. I have Alibaba written down. ACB, we've already cashed. Uh, oh yeah, I guess Best Buy uh, could be another one uh, that we're looking at. 
as well. But that one, again, just kind of hovering around. I mean, you do have that pre-market bottom of 78. I'd like to see uh, some flush out on that stock for sure. Already down 4%. So I think we're we're getting close. That might be a good name to trade se- through 78. But Yeah, I, I, I'm interested in that one. I might let it open up a little bit, which I think I should have done here in, in Baidu. Uh, it did get triggered in. There was a bit of a spread here. Thankfully, we didn't put, uh, put any uh, heavy shares into this one because we got wicked down on a 107 break at 106.70. Kind of thought it might not fill until the open, but we did get in now. I still like uh, the fade to the upside type of play, but I don't want to give this one past that 110 mark. It is Valeria on the bell today. Uh, going to drop this countdown. Market is going to be active. I know it is. I already have four positions, which is a little abnormal uh, this early in the day. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Bring it down, or you're jumping. Uh, get that. <laughs> I love it. Channeling her airness right there, uh, like a little Michael Gore. I actually just finished that documentary. Uh, it was pretty solid. Baidu, I did just get in, triggered into the short 106.70. It is trying to get to the downside here, but a little bit of a bump up. I am looking only to add closer to that 108.50, 109 area. We did like the downside trigger. ACB just came off very, very heavily. Thankfully, didn't have too many shares. XTNT won't want to halt. Uh, XCNT just halted on me there. Uh, I am long side, so I have to get over to that one, Sean. Yeah, okay, yeah, I'm doing nothing right now. Uh, we're just going to wait to see uh, ACB fading back down. Uh, that's why we get out. I mean, we have 20% left, so uh, we could wait on ACB. Uh, Alibaba as well comes down to that. Look at that. I mean, we pegged this 210 area. Uh, it comes down there, reverses, and heads straight to the upside. So we do have to wait on that one. ACB, we are now out as it breaks through. We get out on our even spot. So a nice little profitable trade there on ACB. Now we wait to see what it does uh, for the rest of the day. And uh, yeah, let's let these market orders uh, get themselves figured out. It's only 8, 9.31, I was going to say 8.31, but we'll see. If it retakes this level again, I think we can go long again. 16.70 on ACB, it's coming up right now, guys. Yeah, just looking at that Baidu, I am looking to see where I can add back into it. It just dipped into some ACB there when it retook 50. I uh, just had a bit of a stop, and it immediately ran to the upside, uh, then slammed right back down. So, I mean, support is down here at 1610. I'm not going to add anything to that until I get some more clarification. That was a huge drop oh. on the way in on ACB. Uh, so, I am now also tracking AstraZeneca. Uh, this one is hanging out. It was a dollar, uh, 20 or so in the money, but it is trying to pull back a little bit. I haven't added to this position because I wanted to wait till the market open, but I'm looking at 56.50 or so as a bit of an ad point. XTNT halted to the upside there, guys. So if you're tracking it in small cap space, uh, thankfully, this was an upside halt while we were long. Uh, 252, way too late on the reversal. I took a lot of shares out in front of 260. Hanging on, it got to 290, so I could have been out for 40 cent win right off of the open, but we'll see. If it opens to the high side, we'll hang on. But if it opens lower than 280, I'll probably dump it immediately, guys. So what are you doing with your Baidu? Is that back in the morning? Because I just got short right now baba so uh what i haven't you- added to the position i was so i was looking to add at 108.50 it did not it looks like it didn't get there 108.37 so uh, again i was too aggressive in the pre-market not aggressive enough when the market opened up and now it's coming back downside when i didn't get my ad so my price stinks at 106.70, but I actually like the short here, so I'm in a tricky position. I think maybe I can get something in the 107.50 range if I want a larger lot here uh, in Baidu. Yeah, okay, and here it goes, guys. 50 cent winner already uh, on Alibaba. Let's just wait to see what happens. Oh, we got out 2.0, what was that? 209.64. Did I say 50 cents, guys? I lied. That was a 81 cent winner there, guys, uh, on on uh, Alibaba. We got pegged out. Look at this. That's why we hit that money. It's already a home run. There it is. A quick dollar for you there on Alibaba. Gave you this level 210.50. We hit it. We get out 209.60 there. So that's a decent winner. Let's hold on uh, and see what happens for the rest. But this ride is not over. Nice little trade there on Alibaba quickly scalped out for a dollar we still have some on we'll see what happens to the downside now on Alibaba maybe that move is over but uh, we'll wait to see I think that uh, more news obviously to come on some of this space uh, here as Carnival Cruise Lines heading upside Macy's uh, chilling out what's up Brendan uh, Facebook guys big mover from yesterday Facebook opening at all time highs uh, quickly rejected though up here at 235 we're moving downside now for FB guys uh, so I'm not doing this just to say we we, we can here but uh 
I'm buying the dip on AstraZeneca. We did get long originally at 56. I did see wait for the first pullback since the open to add to my position. Uh, we've now bought this little dip here. 56.50. I just mentioned it a couple of seconds ago. I got 57. So not too bad on the way back up. Uh, we are back long. We've already taken some profit out. I'm looking for a run uh, back up towards these highs. 57.20 is as high as we got. I'll take some shares off in front of that. See if we can't hang on to the rest. Baidu is now in that target range where I'm trying to fade. Uh, I wanted something around that 108.50 mark. It's trying to get up there. Positioning this short in front of this top. Uh, 109.35 then looking for the rollover. It hasn't been able to break uh, just yet that 106.70. Uh, I feel like when it does the floodgates should open up. This is one of those uh, plays where I was a little bit surprised to see it uh, recover all the way into this range uh, based on the news. So we're taking a shot here uh, that it does roll over. I think you, you got to be willing to risk about two dollars on this trade uh, to be able to make five or six to the downside. We know it can have a shot to get to uh, at least 102 if there is a bit of a plunge through that 107 again. Okay, yeah, uh, we did get out of some of our Alibaba, lose a dollar, make a dollar, so that's a flat trade there. Uh, we'll wait to see what's happening with Alibaba to the downside here. Uh, if it does break that 210.50 again, uh, your boy will be on that one. So we'll wait to see uh, if that does come through right now. Uh, just looking at a few different things, uh, but I'm not really into much today. Uh, CCL uh, going the other way. I thought we could test down here. We kind of got there, but we didn't. So uh, we're waiting for 1385 now on the downside uh, for CCL. That's about that. Not much else happening there. Uh, what else did we write down? Oh, Best Buy. We can check out Best Buy quickly. BBY.NY, guys. Subscribe. Yeah, this one goes upside. Like we said, that was down 3%. Uh, it did not test that 78. Uh, so, yeah, we watched Best Buy head to the upside. I'm, again, going to stay away from that one. Uh, not much happening on there. Uh, ACB was heading down. Uh, I was waiting. Yeah, see, so there it goes straight to the downside. We've already took our profit on this one. So, uh, yeah, right now I'm just hunting, guys. So, uh, let me know if there's any names that you guys see. Maybe Square is always a popular name. Yeah, I, that Best Buy it is a big spike up, but this is the range I was kind of hoping we'd get into for a fade. Uh, the market looks strong, but I'm going to take a shot here. I already have one shot in Baidu, uh, but I did mention I liked Best Buy if it entered that 81 uh, price area. You do have a lot of target uh, range in here. A chop area in the afternoon uh, going into that little flush it had. So 81 to 81.50. It's a nice little target range for me to enter into a short position. I just don't want it to get too far uh, outside of that range if it does break 81.50. I'm going to look to fade this one. The second it turns around, uh, I'm going to look to jump into the short. So if we get any kind of sell action, uh, I'll be jumping into that short position. Baidu, we'll see what happens, but that 109 is coming into play rather quickly here. So we put a bet on in Baidu. I feel like we could get burned on this one, but I was talking to, I think it was Kevin this morning in the chat. I had to take a shot at this one or I couldn't live with myself. Uh, okay, good. Yeah, and uh, yeah, sometimes you just got to take it and uh, try to... Try your best, guys. And I'm trying my best here with ACB. Uh, but I, I just, I'm not finding anything uh, for you guys to trade uh, right now. ACB just bouncing around. I would love for it uh, to get back going through 1650. Uh, again, I will try along uh, if that does happen. 1650 uh, on ACB or if it breaks the bottom here. Uh, that's another look right now. Uh, uh, what is this bottom? Uh, 1580 maybe? And look, it can go. I mean, th this is reverse split, remember. This is really like $1.60 right now. Uh, so you do got to watch out. This stock can move uh, quite a lot uh, on some of these breaks. So a breakthrough 16 might be decent. 1580 is not bad. I like 1580 short side on ACB or 1650 long side. So uh, yeah, we got some Baidu, some Baba. Uh, NVIDIA gets upgraded today as well. Let's just keep looking for names, guys. Oh, L Brands up 11% as well. So things moving around. Yeah, and here comes that 109.50 on Baidu. Uh, this is going to be it. We're going to be puking. I, I hate this key. I don't even know why I hit it. Because uh, that's like the creepiest thing ever. A, it doesn't look like me. B, it's just scary. Hopefully my daughter never has to see that. Uh, but Baidu, it breaks that her, top, guys. Uh, there's 109.50. We took our shot here. The only thing that I don't like about this trade was I did want to be short around 108.50. I took that pre-market trade at 107, so my price was about a dollar worse than it needed to be, uh, unfortunately, on Baidu. So uh, actually reversed into a long here uh, to see if we can't get a scalp up to that 110 area. Uh, but either way, uh, we'll hang on to that one, maybe trail it down down to 108.50 or so. Brandon, what do you got? Uh, guys, we were talking a lot of uh, offerings that uh, were out yesterday and the day before. Here's another one today. Under Armour down this morning 4%. Uh, they announced a big offering coming, but we're heading back to the upside. 720 here, uh, that last kind of line in the sand in the pre-market. If we get above that, 755, 760 for UA. Guys. 
Okay, we're back in the money big time once again. Your boy has done it again. So here we go. ACB to the upside. We talk about 1650, uh, and there we go. We have it. And yeah, we are just raining this cash in right now. Uh, upside, upside, upside. We go long twice here. 1650, and then again at 1670. Uh, and now we're hopefully trying to cash this out. It's having some problems. So we'll see if we can uh, dump some of these shares here in the 70s. Our best out 77. Uh, so we'll wait to see. I mean, it's getting exciting here uh, on ACB looks like it does have some problems uh, up on the upside here uh, 16 this is where it kind of stalled again right where we opened up here uh, we opened up huge came all the way back down now you're seeing a fade back that's why you got to take some out so we're gonna wait to see but we are long my only position right now uh, is ACB and we're gonna look for Alibaba to break down I'm as well throw uh, Ali, spilt milk ahead, yeah. you shouldn't cry over spilt milk uh, <laughs> thankfully at least AstraZeneca is working out for us to the long side well okay XTNT is in the money as well but it still hasn't opened up yet Oddly enough, I did take some out there in front of 57, like I mentioned I would. 56.89. We did go long on a 56 break. I am long on a reload at 56.57. Now that's now in the money 60 cents. So we've already made over a dollar on AZN. Uh, like I said, I don't really have upside targets, so I'm looking to buy dips. I'm just looking to see if the momentum uh, stalls out here and we get any real sell action. I will move a stop closer to break even at 56.50. Don't want a winning trade to turn into a loser. If you can't beat them, join them. I mean, obviously, look, it's kind of cliche. Uh, it, I was way too late to reverse in XTNT on the initial short. I was way too late to reverse on Baidu and accepting the fact that, hey, people want to buy it today. Uh, but this time we do. 109.70 is my price. It's in the money about 70 cents, but we lost more than that. Uh, shorting this one at a bad price earlier. We'll see if we can't make it back. 109.78 is my price long. Uh, it's almost in the money a dollar here. We'll see how far it can go on Baidu. Market's going up, guys. Got to play along. Look at this, guys. ACB for the win again. We've got this one. We've got this one for you. The money is raining in. Pokeroo, if you know where this is from, put that in the chat. But he's like, dog, you just you're destroying this market. I'm like, yeah, you know what? That's what happens sometimes. And here we go. Straight to the upside right now. ACB for the win. Just keeps on going up, up, and away. So nice little cash there on ACB. We're out. We'll wait to see what it does through 17. Actually, one of my triggers mistakenly uh, hit there. So we got to get long again on ACB. What up, Brandon? Uh, DJ Holson. Sale guys, uh, another earnings name here today. Nice pop off the open here through 31, all the way to 32.50. Bit of a pullback here, but up 10% after earnings, yeah. guys. Uh. Yeah, I'm just going to look here on the second half of this reverse Baidu long, and I'm going to trail uh, this to 109.50. It's going to go 108.50. I'm now going to give it to 109.50 that we've taken some of this out. It's stalling a little bit, but the market is so strong uh, that I want to give this one a little bit of runway. Uh, if you do look at where Baidu came from, it's worth noting. Not a heck of a lot here until if you get past this 111 mark, uh, you start getting into the prices that we saw in the afternoon when this news dropped, of course, uh, with you know enhanced regulation. Uh, I think that's a little bit predictable, but 113, not a lot of room. So it breaks 111, $2 worth of upside. We want to hang on to it. Trailing stop now on the reverse in Baidu. So uh, look, sometimes you got to be able to reverse in the other direction. Uh, you pick yourself off off the ground. If you don't, you miss out on the profit. You don't make that money back, guys. you got to jump right back on the horse when you get these trades. Brennan, what do you got? Uh, credit to Kevin uh, just pointing out Boeing here. Really nice look for Boeing this morning, guys. 130 up to 141 now on huge volume, almost 6%. Mentioned yesterday, the uh, airline's very strong again this morning, showing some strength as well. Guys. Yeah, we there we talk. go. I'm going to go with, I don't know, it's a trap. And it was a trap it's shorting a trap. in Baidu earlier, but thankfully we broke out of it. Uh, just took over a dollar on it. I'll figure out how much it was later. It looks like about a buck twenty or so. Uh, we're going to hang on, like I said, for dear life. 113 is the next target. Trailing stop is going to go in. So at least this plan is coming to fruition. It was an additional information halt on XTNT. So uh, if you guys are seeing the positions uh, here, I am long at 252. I'm stuck in this halt. It opened up, uh, got all the way to 330. I said if it went below that $3 mark when it reopened, I would be out. Uh, but it didn't. It's only going upside. If it continues to halt higher, I will continue to hang on to this trade and just see how much money we can make. Uh, you never know when these things go exponential. It's up 400%. At this point, you're playing with house money. Let's just see how far it can go.
Yeah, I wonder, uh, was that AZN you're talking about? No, that one's XTNT. It's oh, like XTNT. a, it's like the tiniest company ever. It's like a 9 million market yeah, cap. Yeah, it's, you've you've seen how these ones work, right? Yeah, I've seen them. Uh, okay, Surf, oh, wow, Surf, uh, Surfboard, uh, heading to the top side. We talked about this yesterday uh, with Brendan. Surf now surging. Uh, I guess it's on the NASDAQ, yeah, .nq here. Uh, yeah, up, uh, what is this, up 20% today. Uh, making moves upside, yeah, breaks that out uh, at 9. So that there you go, that's another move right there. Uh, ACB, basically the biggest stock for me, well, they're really the only stock today uh, for me. Alibaba, we're flat. We've talked, Neil talked about uh, that, some Chinese companies. But look at this, bang it to the outside, long again, long again, and all out. I mean, there's absolutely no losers there. So uh, it's been a big day for that one. We'll wait to see if it breaks through 17 uh, and what is next to come uh, for Aurora Cannabis uh, breaking through 17. Uh, we will try that. Uh, to the long side as well. And oh yeah, my boy Facebook. Anybody that's uh, been trading Facebook with me uh, the last couple days knows the kind of money uh, that you're up. You're probably done for the month uh, if you traded Facebook with us the last couple days. Way up, man. Another 236 print. Uh, this is all time highs for this beast. So uh, this name just keeps on going upside. Uh, Facebook, I'll look at Microsoft as well. Wow, okay. I mean, I wrote down two at one, uh, 280, 185.50 here. Uh, that breaks it, obviously. Look at that move up. This is 185.50 here in the pre-market and it just blasts so right now microsoft looking to take out this top i think that's not a horrible trade uh to take out guys subscribe like do everything we can we need to get to thirty thousand. uh we're at about 21.5 or so uh before the show started so help us out here yeah if you guys like uh make sure you want to subscribe to it make sure you're tuning in uh, every single day we're actually going to be dropping a video on buying the dip and it uh, looks like uh today was a good one we drew a line in the sand on the pullback in astrazeneca it is making another move to the downside but remember here here. Uh, I don't have a target up. I'm going to go with trails. I was trailing it to break even. I have not gone away from that. So 56, 57, my stop is at 56, 50. Uh, we're going to see how far it can run. As it moves higher, I'll just move the trail up as I see fit. I, I'm going to throw the position board up so you guys can quickly see what we're working with here. Uh, just a few names that we have long. Baidu still long on that 109.78. Yeah, we should have, uh, you know, why does it say 61, guys? I'm actually long 109.78 uh, on Baidu. It's not a big deal, but either way, uh, it's in the money right now, but I'm giving it to 109.50. AZN still involved, 56.57. And of course, I did mention uh, we're still long in that XTNT. And I do have to track when it opens up because you don't want to throw away profit just because it halted to the upside and you're deep in the money. It doesn't mean you get sloppy here, guys. If it opens up uh, a lower than $3, I'll dump it for a nice win. If it continues to go higher, I'm not seeing a heck of a lot of reason to get out of this trade. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a tiny float. You never know how many times we'll halt to the upside. We'll just kind of ride this train here in the money right now, based on the previous close, uh, 80 cents, uh, but we'll see how far it wants to go on XTNT. Yeah, we're going to look at Alibaba too, if it can break down below 212.40, 212.30 uh, or so on Alibaba. So we will uh, get our money into that name as well again, uh, if we can. Spotify once again, uh, breaking through 52-week highs. So uh, any of you guys long this name, I'm long in my own account, not long here, but wow, Spotify, another beauty uh, of a move upside. So uh, that's a big one. I did want to check back on Carnival. That's been, uh, we've just made so much money on this name uh, over the last little while that Carnival needs to be looked at uh, once again and but again uh, unfortunately it doesn't do much the only real trade was breaking off the top here brendan we need some more names uh, acb guys the one with the news but the entire cannabis sector going crazy here this morning look at cron here up seven percent uh broke this high right off the open 570 straight up to six bucks afria i mean tilray they're all moving higher guys so very strong in the cannabis space today yeah, great. Uh, just looking back at a blast, not a blast in the past because it's only this week, but NNDM, uh, big flush off the open. Don't know how I managed to miss this one. It's been a good stock recently. It's now down 13%. Short sell restricted is what that means. It means I cannot hit the bid uh, to aggressively go short. I'm going to have to wait to fade it or catch an uptick. I'm now looking at this consolidation in, in 255 to 260 range to short this pop. Uh, Baidu, the last quarter of our reverse long, we'll take that one out uh, it's at 109.40. So you lose about 40 cents on that trade the last little bit. We make a dollar at the most. Uh, so the reverse long worked out. We're just too late to do it. Uh, but now got my eyes on NNDM coming back to the upside. I'm shorting it around this 255 to 265 range. A nice flush off the open. Uh, hopefully somebody got that one. I know it was a good stock the last few days. Uh, waiting for a script to sell. Okay, 209.95. Yeah, okay. Uh, I was just looking at Alibaba again here, just trying to get my uh, stop orders uh, ready to go. Uh, we do have one here, 212 coming through. Uh, so we're going to wait to see what happens here uh, if Alibaba does come back downside uh, through 212 and change. Uh, this is the loser today for me. Uh, again, we've we lost. 
uh, about a tenth of what we made on ACB. So uh, there we go. Uh, we're going to wait to see right here, Alibaba. I do like it breaking back down. Uh, you got to get through some of this garbage though. So uh, maybe halfway, maybe uh, 212. 30 to 12, 40, uh, something like that. But I, I don't like these names uh, to the long side today. Just too much there. Uh, when you get political, uh, it's never a good thing, especially uh, with some of that China talk. Uh, WFC 24, 24, 50. Uh, let's get the chart going here. Uh, flat today with the move to the upside. Look, I mean, the market's flat, guys. So if there's any name you guys want us to look at, that'd be fantastic. Take two. Okay. TTWO, I just saw you guys uh, on the chat. We got to always change it from NQ to NY. So we'll see. Checked out take two. Wow. Uh, yeah. Nice little move upside here uh, on take two. We'll find out uh, why. It's not that it's a huge percentage move, but uh, we're going to look at a longer time frame here on take two, guys. I'm going to be sick, guys. Someone was asking, like, why we nervous? Because I knew this was happening. I'm like, what am I forgetting? I had something on my list. What am I not short right now? It was luck in coffee. We talked about this one through 250. It broke off the open. It even gave you a pullback right into that same price guys and here it is testing these lows uh, so i'm going to try and short these pops if i can in luckin uh, if it gets back up to that 250 mark i knew there was something i was forgetting about it turns out it was luckin coffee brennan what do you got uh, another mover here guys uh, kdp keurig dr pepper big move down in the pre-market on hey guess what another share offering uh, but we're already from 2660 back to 2720 so some relative strength coming into kdp that take two sean that was uh earnings for that one yeah uh, ttw you all uh, beat right across the board. Uh, decent report, guys. All right, all right. Thanks, Brendan. Yeah, that's uh, it's important to know, and that's why we wait for Brendan, guys. Very, very important to find out. There's the Valeria floss. No idea where that came from again, but uh, I guess a shout out to Rob and Lucas, or Valeria has it. I don't know. Is that you that did it? 500 likes, that's why she did it. Okay, so just uh, making sure there with Valeria, uh, why that went off, but 500 likes. So guys, you want to see more Valeria flossing, uh, hit that like button, but I'd rather you guys hit the subscribe button. We do have a new movie, movie, new video coming out, not a movie yet, uh, coming we'll out there. for uh, Buy the Dips. So Neil's done that a couple times today and uh, we do like to do that. So uh, if you're interested in some more of our movies, check out our Market Wisdom page, guys. Uh, Valeria will drop that as well. Uh, Kevin Carter with a nice little uh, shout out there from Dr. William, 911, 780 profit, went long ACB at 1610. There you go. I owe you a fruit cup. Yeah, here's a fruit cup for anybody that had the trade with me long as well. Uh, ACB has been a profitable day uh, today. We are crushing ACB. Thanks, Kevin. Uh, and thank you to you there, doctor, uh, for that five bucks. We like it. Uh, uh, I'm going to get caught here. I said, do not let this happen. Uh, XTNT opens back up and immediately halts. I did try to slip those shares out at 320. Uh, that would have been a 70 cent win. I just quickly went over to it. I had a level two up. It's not that I wasn't prepared, just not quite fast enough to catch that fill. It immediately opened, got to 350 and slammed back down 30 cents. It's one of those situations where yes, I'm long at 252 and that's a great return if you're gonna get out at 320 or even if anything above three even is gonna be fantastic, but I just don't like giving anything back in that situation. It makes me sick to my stomach. We'll see where it opens up in five minutes. Uh, but I'm also looking at luck and we did miss that 250, but 230 low of day uh, is about to be taken out. We're going to get into some shorts in luck and we've missed a bit of the party. Not going to continue to do that, guys. You got to be active on this. It was actually my best stock yesterday in the morning and it gave you bi the same trade uh, that we looked at yesterday. Same thing happening here, but testing that low at 230. Watch out for luck and coffee. Brennan, what do you got? KDMN, little holdings company here with earnings today, guys, in the pre market. Nice look here. Still up 8.6%. We came all the way back to where we were trading yesterday and bounced hard. Uh, back to 480 here. If we can get above this 490 little uh, shelf, five bucks, maybe get a nice run to the upside for KDMN. Guys. All right, yeah, uh, Katie and M. We're going to look at Alibaba here as well, uh, coming to the downside here. Uh, 212.50 maybe. Uh, we'll try it uh, if that does go through uh, on Alibaba. But uh, right now, we got to go over to Miss V. What's up? Hey trading family and welcome everyone who just joined us. Guys, subscribe to our channel. We are live every day starting at 9 a.m. Eastern time. We almost reached 22,000 of subscriptions today. Let's go guys. Subscribe now and join trading family. And also guys, you're rock. We reached almost 600 likes. I literally flossing. And guys, let's reach no less than 1,000 likes today. We also have some good news for you. Our next 
educational video will be available for you today. Do you know how to buy deep? So we hear you. Subscribe to our educational channel Market uh, Wisdom at Trader TV Live. We already have some videos that are like what VWAP is, what short selling is, and support and resistance video. Check all of those videos and write in the comments what would you want us to make next. And guys, sign up for our free morning watch list. Hit the link I'm sending out on the chat. Put your name and email address and you will be receiving that every morning. And yes, guys, subscribe, hit the thumbs up and I wish you a great trading day. I'll see you later. Back to traders. Thank you very much. Well, I'll hit the catapult because I didn't do it yesterday. I happen to like that one. I am short here. We did like this pop to 260, guys. We took it at 258. Uh, on the way back up, we missed the first trade. We'll catch the second one. We're going to get some out in front of low of day, but I am riding this train down in the NNDM. I will be shorting pops in front of VWAP. I will be taking it out in front of the low, trying to work this trend trade to the downside. Uh, hopefully, it'll continue to the downside here in NNDM. Don't have a crystal ball, but we're already one for one on that one. So the first short finally works out for us here. Everything else has been to the long side winners, uh, but finally got a short on that work. Brennan, what do you got? Uh, a little bit of uh, economic data there at 945, guys. Basically in line with expectations. 39.8 versus 38 for the market flash uh, PMI for, I think it was May. Yeah, May for uh, the U.S. want to mention this one as well. Starbucks up nicely, 1.2%. Uh, 79.50 was resistance up there. They came out with uh, Chinese sales data from last month that was better than expected. Guys. Attaboy, Starbucks. Attaboy, Starbucks. Uh, yeah, we'll check out Starbucks as well. Uh, okay, Mr. Softy is in back uh, here. Uh, makes that high, 186.67. That was very, very key because over the last couple days, uh, well, you can't see it on this kind of a chart, but check this out, guys. Uh, on a five-minute chart, maybe we can see it. Yeah, 186. Look at this. It topped out here. Ah, then we get those wicks. There aren't... Oh, okay, this is okay. Uh, 186.60. So we can get back up there. Uh, we'll look for a short uh, on Mr. Softy. And uh, other than that, though, uh, right now we still wait for A. CB uh, to either make a move one way or the other. Uh, I'm looking to see if it breaks through 1570 uh, on the downside or 17 uh, back upside up a nice smooth 27% there uh, on Aurora Cannabis. Uh, you said SBUX, right? Uh, we know that symbol. That's a popular one for us uh, here on the show. Yeah, nice little move uh, to the top side again. I don't know if that's enough uh, to get this through 79.50 if the market's going to go sleepy on us. Uh, but right now, Starbucks, yeah, just in this little zone. Uh, I'm more interested still, interested in these Chinese names, guys. Uh, Alibaba looks like, uh, there we go. We are now short Alibaba. I was going to say, why am I not short? Here we go. We're short Alibaba to 12.58. Guys, let's see if this can work out for us. Yeah, if you're talking about some of those names. There's a few other ones that we can watch. IQ has been under pressure as well. It's down another three and a half percent. Continuing that weakness today. The volume not as big, but I like the fact that you have this uh, clear bottom at 16 even on IQ. It is trying to bounce back through. So 16, 20 or so. It's a, it's a little bit of smaller mover, but you can maybe leverage up if you'd like to. I'm hunting this. If we get a break back down of 16, 10, 15 or so, uh, we'll jump into the short and see if we can't work it in front of the low of the day. Uh, Brendan, what do you got, bud? Uh, that uh, surf, guys. Somebody who has uh, mentioning surf there we're back to uh, back open first off it did halt there at 520 uh, back down towards five even see if we can't hold above five even remember uh, yesterday they announced they're teaming up with Merck on some uh, cancer research studies that they're working on guys uh, guys uh, yeah we did it again here's Alibaba again like I really wife if you're watching this we need to buy lottery tickets we need to do something uh, this is a big trade once again here on Alibaba gave this one to you guys I talked about 212.60 that's where we went short look where we get in out here it's 211 right now it just dropped down to 211 this is a five minute chart what am I doing it's not gonna make it look as good uh, there we go downside here uh, 212.60 uh, got some out to 211.80 that's an 80 cent winner here on Alibaba. Uh, the hits just keep coming, guys. Uh, yeah, this is just great trading today. Uh, we're out of half. So bang that out for 50 cents, bang that out for 60 cents, bang that out for 80 cents. And now we just keep on going. We have half out of our Alibaba trade. We love this one to the downside. We've been hitting home runs all day. It's cowbell day. It's explode money day. Or was that yesterday? Or was that any day that ends in Y? Let's keep this party going, guys. Uh, Baidu rolling over. I was going to throw it in the chat, but we'll just uh, look, go to it right now. That 108.50 mark. Of course, we had the reverse long last little bit. We took it out at 109.50. Uh, we're, we're cracking into the short back again in VWAP. The short didn't work the first time. We're jumping back into this one again. I think if you're being realistic, you got to give it back to that pre-market high area at least. It's going to be reasonable. 109.30 or so, 109.50. You risk about a dollar here. So back into the short party. We'll see how it goes in 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 uh, Baidu. I want to get back to Luck and Coffee. It's holding the bottom pretty well. 
I avoided going long in the stock uh, all yesterday. Uh, I'm going to kind of try to stick to that, at least for the time being. I am looking to fade as short if it gets anywhere in, into that 240 range. But it is a double bottom. You're not going to want to ignore that. 230 held yesterday as well as a pre-market low. So it is going to be worthwhile uh, maybe jumping some shares in front for some scalps. There's so much liquidity on this bid uh, down at that price. For those of you with direct market access, you can probably get these little four or five cent wins uh, long at that price. For me, I am still hunting a short in any kind of a pop. That's my first look. Yeah, short to pops, baby. Uh, we talk about that all the time. So we're going to get uh, ready to rock and roll here with a lot of action uh, happening right in front of our face here, uh, including Alibaba just continues to go down. Uh, we're making that money on that name. And so uh, really happy with the way that trading's going uh, for us now. Uh, Alibaba will get just a little bit out here uh, if it does break above 212.30 there. There we go. We take a bit out there on that top side. So let's see what happens now uh, with our rest of our Alibaba position. Big time win. We're basically flat. We're now going to hold... I told Arun that we would wait until uh, the second candle uh, breaks. So there we go. So that just breaks right there. So we get a little bit out. Now we'll hold the rest uh, for more of a downside move here on Alibaba. And it just keeps on going, guys. Thank you, Sheena Johnson. What up? Uh, thank you for that. Nice little super chat right there. Uh, if you're joining us for the first time, uh, welcome. Hit that subscribe. Hit that like, man. We're back every single day. I'm going to keep having these bangers for you, I hope. A quick look at Codex. I know every day there's somebody who wants to be watching this stock. I haven't been on it so far this morning. Its its volume is really drying up. It's only done 600,000 shares so far. Thank you guys for the super chat there. Uh, we do appreciate it. Uh, we're trying to give you as many names as we can cover while live trading. Keep that in mind. Uh, but I'm looking at Codex here. One, sorry, 1825 higher low being put in. It looks like a break for me at 1860 uh, to the long side for a scalp trade. Uh, however, if we fail to get above 1850 and we hold consolidation right around that price area I would be looking at a short through 1825 the volume not where I'd like to see it that's the downside with codex right here I like it when it's more active it's not as good uh, today but there's still some trades to be had uh, on that name guys carnival cruise lines 1480 was a big level it's been one we've been watching for a while I am going to continue to say it's a breakout through 1480 on CCL whenever it happens I'm going to trigger long I will try shorting in front of it at least one time when it gets there uh, but it's once again creeping upside it's like it's like gravity it has to get to this 1480 mark almost on a daily basis, but it's 10 o'clock. That means it's time for Happening Now with Brendan. Hey guys, yeah, 10 o'clock already, 30 minutes in the books. We uh, just had a housing uh, number out there, existing home sales uh, for last month in the U.S. down 19.5% versus an expectation of a 17% decline. So a little worse than expected on the housing sales front for the U.S. Uh, yeah, pretty muted right across the board here for North America. S&P 500 is positive, but just barely 0.07% now. The Dow 0.3% to the upside. Tech stocks in negative territory. Uh, the Nasdaq just going red again. So. Uh, watch things to the downside here. Uh, pretty muted action so far to start this day off. The Russell in positive territory, 0.3%. Uh, we've mentioned a number of those already on the small cap front. Here in Toronto, the TSX also basically flat. Bovespa to the upside today, 1.8%. All about the uh, cannabis names here in Toronto so far. Uh, this is the uh, Canadian listed shares of ACB. Obviously, Aurora traded down in New York as well. 29% here in Toronto held 22 uh, as support there a couple of times uh, after the monster or gap up. This thing was trading at 1750 yesterday afternoon up to uh, 22 now. Uh, Hexo, if you like the smaller ones, little penny stock also having a nice day holding 70 cents here up about seven and a half percent in that uh, same group obviously. And the banks are strong here in Canada guys. MFC having a really nice day. Two percent uh, got uh, blasted from uh, 1620 all the way up to 1650 uh, consolidating at day highs for MFC. Pretty muted action so far though on a Thursday. Guys back over to you. Thank you, Brennan. And uh, we just got the break on uh, Luck and Coffee. 230 finally went to the downside. If you were long in front, I, I, I wouldn't have given it past this price here. Uh, able to get some shares at 29 to the short side. Now we'll just kind of see how far it can go to the downside here. If you go to the daily chart, not a lot to look at. Even if I try to drag it out, uh, you can see how it was a wick bottom uh, in the pre-market uh, when this one came back. And this is a big break at this 230 mark. We'll see how far it can go. No obvious levels to work with. 240 was one before. So if you want to give it 10 pennies, that's perfectly reasonable uh, in my books. I'm short this name, short NNDM. Uh, that's in the money, 20 cents, $2.50 name, $2 name. Another one that I am still long, and I regret to say this, it's that XTNT. 
it is halted once again. We are still in this game. We should have been out. Obviously, we should have been out of this one the last time it opened up, and we could have taken a dollar on this trade. Uh, when it opens again, we'll see if we can't get out of this one. Uh, but it's been about 10 minutes or so, so we're going to have to wait to see when it does reopen. XTNT. Okay, yeah, we're going to be looking at those names as well. Uh, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac are just dancing around here. I don't really know what they're doing. Uh, I'm getting out and in and uh, not making any money. So uh, 5 million shares. We did hear some mortgage stuff uh, yesterday about Fannie and Freddie. So maybe there's something there. Uh, we'll wait to see. Uh, CCL 16... Uh, 1465, not doing much here. We're waiting for that one to break. Macy's has been another one on my watch list. It's going the wrong way. We didn't, we didn't expect that to happen. Uh, BBY as well, up to 80. Maybe we get this fade back down now if this market goes. So again, we're looking at much different charts here. Uh, this is just what we see uh, in front of us. Now it's not working my other uh, program, these charts, but we have one minute, five minute, 12 minutes. I like 12 minute charts. Uh, we're looking around at this right now, but uh, you know, looking around, watch lists, daily charts, three minutes, uh, emails, chats open as well. So uh, make sure that you're uh, watching us and paying attention uh, to what we're doing uh, here because we're looking at a lot of different time frames for you guys. Depending if you're a swing trader, whatever kind of trader you are, uh, judge these trades as they come. L Brands, 1450, nice little breakout spot here. 1433 to the top side, guys. Uh, yeah, I got some out there, Marcus. I see you there with the short on, on Luckin. I did take some out on the way down, but I am still, of course, in position. Uh, I, I like to give it, like I said, I got to give it a little bit more room. It was a break that we've been waiting for uh, since we came back into trading in Luckin after that ridiculously long halt. I forget how long it was. So I want to give at least a little bit of this for a home run potential here uh, in Luckin. I know scalping can be good on this uh, at times. Uh, IQ, I just want to get you back to this when I mentioned uh, we wanted to shorten this range. There was a breakdown here first, and when it's a breakout trade, but I have a target range of entry with a 25 out I like to leave myself some room in case it fail breaks shake some people out and then I can jump back in so it shook some people out of the short when 1615 broke I then slammed it here at 20 and I'm gonna see if we can't work it out down towards that low of day so uh, IQ we're into the short side here it's a smaller one uh, of those Chinese names but it was also under pressure since that announcement in the afternoon yesterday here so we are short IQ short luck in short an ndm and regrettably still long xtnt which is never going to open up because that's how my day's going <laughs> Uh, okay, we, I think we're ready. I, I got long. I just said uh, before we throw to Brendan, I am long right now. CCL right here, 65. But uh, Brendan, what's up, bud? A little tech company here, guys. S O N M up 30 percent today. Wish I saw this one up here at 170, 175. Great level to be short. Uh, all the way back to 120. But huge monster volume on this name so far. Uh, this is a company that makes ultra rugged cell phones and mobile wireless devices, guys. Uh, popping up on news of a new product launch uh, today. So back to the downside though for S O N M, guys. Nice S O N N, yeah. Nice Sonic. product do, launch. Sonic definitely an interesting name you want to be watching, guys. If you're if you're in uh, a name like Luckin, you can be adding to a position and sort of working out. If it go, makes another flush to 225, uh, maybe it takes them out there. I think it got down to 223. I got some shares uh, near that bottom, and then you can load back into your position because I'm still holding like 80% of my position. I don't really feel the need to add back in, but if I had taken 80% off, yeah, I'd be jumping back into some shares of Luckin Coffee. So nothing wrong with that if you happen to be doing that. Uh, I know Sean was looking at JD.com. Uh, one name I wanted to get to was, uh, there you go, finally, Moderna here. It's again doing fantastic volume. It was a huge flush off the open, anyone that did catch that. It's now trying to get back to that 70 mark. That was a price we were looking at earlier uh, in the week. I actually think I'm going to take one shot here in front of 70, uh, maybe shorting it in this range, 69 to 69.50. Get yourself a decent average price in front of 70 even if it can't retest those lows. The market's starting to roll back over, so I feel a little more confident jumping into some shorts despite the fact that it was the longs that worked off the open for me. Yeah, exactly. And uh, that's the thing right now. We do have CCL. It's my only position uh, right now. And it's I, I like it. I think it's going to be a good one. Uh, we're going to wait for the upside here of 1485 as well. So uh, we're going to take some out here at 67, 68. Sorry. Uh, then we'll wait to see. But my outside target here on the downside is going to be this 1450. Uh, we're just trying to play a little bit of momentum and a little bit of breakout here. Uh, so 1450 we'll wait for. Uh, but otherwise, I like CCL to the top side. Uh, hopefully that party can keep going. And uh, someone's coming to save the day here because uh, we've only had one coffee so far, and here she is. This is secret code for something, by the way. Thank you, Valeria, for the coffee. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, yesterday we had some uh, 
talk of secret codes about fruit salad. And uh, that's a secret code as well, me, uh, Valeria dropping me off a coffee. So thank you so much for that, Valeria. And uh, yeah, we're going to take a sip here. We're just watching CCL. And Baba, we got out of that one, but it's still going down. So I have to revisit. Yeah, it just got triggered into uh, mRNA there. So guys, I, I did get that short on the way back up. 68.88, like I said, I, I'd like to get an average price closer to that 69.50 mark. So if it gets back into that chop range below VWAP, I am going to be adding to this one if I can. And then 70 stop is going to be where it's at. I'll update you guys on Luckin. Uh, I just took a few more shares out there at, on a little bit of a dip. It got back down to that 23 mark. So I took a few more out at 25. I, I do feel like I want to continuously give myself a chance uh, to short some of these pops if they go up there. And if I'm not taking profit to the downside, I'm probably throwing away that opportunity. So Luckin, that break looks like it's going to be working for us here. Uh, I'm short at 229. Uh, hopefully you have a good, uh, good price as well if you rode along with that trade. Uh, I don't have any levels that this could go to. You, you never know where it could stop. $2 could be the next stop here uh, realistically, I believe. Brendan has something for us. What do you got? Yeah, another name here, guys. If you're watching the Canadian markets here, IMV in Toronto, a little uh, pharmaceutical name here in Toronto. $5 just broke to the downside. Huge gap this morning to the upside. They announced that their COVID-19 candidate uh, for a vaccine has progressed to human trials. Guys. Guys, it's another cowbell right here, guys. And uh, yeah, CCL, once again, a nice little 10 cent win uh, still coming. Shout out to Bear Bull Traders uh, and Carlos and Andrew over there. We keep going back and forth on Twitter, but I don't know what they're doing. But uh, if you're watching our show and you're with me, then this is what you're doing today. Uh, you're just raining in that cash once again. So watch out. Get that wheelbarrow as full as you can. A lot of people are uh, doing some uh, outdoor activities and whatnot. Some people have dirt in their wheelbarrows. Some people have cash. So there it is right there. Uh, still going out. We are out of half of our CCL there uh, at 73 and 74. Now we have half that ride. We're gonna wait to see still down here, 14. You know what, I'll probably let this go at 1460. Uh, if it does come back down, we wanna make sure that we capture all of our profits. So uh, a nice little wheelbarrow trade. Your boy is here, guys. It's raining down cash. Check everything below. We haven't lost yet. ACB, Baba, CCL, fingers crossed. Keep it going, let's go, guys. Yeah, and if someone was asking what to do with Moderna, I just told you what I like in this trade. I'm looking for it to roll over once again. I'm going to be shorting in this range. It did make a nice little bottom uh, at 67.50, uh, but I get this little plunge. It's been under pressure the last couple of sessions, and we're just going to short it in front of 70. That was a consolidation point on a bounce the first time. We'll see if it can't do that lower now and take advantage of it. Uh, like I said, I would prefer my price to be uh, closer to the 69.50 mark, so I left myself some room uh, to add to my position if it does make any kind of a pop. Uh, Luckin is proceeding to plan guys it's just a uh, look take some shares out on the way down as best you can 220 uh, the next level it's going to come down here i am taking them off just got some at 223 222 uh, we'll continue to hold this one short still at half our position on in that name nndm continues to be a solid one for us it has not given me the pullback uh, that I was looking for into that 255 range, but that's fine. We're in the money about 10%. I didn't take it. I'm just holding on to this because I want to be able to reload here at some point in front of 250 and continue to ride this train. It's now down 18%. I don't see a heck of a lot of reason to get out of this one. It's a clear trend to the downside. So we're going to hang on to NNDM here. Short at 258. It's at 243. Was as low as 234. Uh, but it's also 1010. Wow. Uh, time to get to Brendan for some upgrades and downgrades, guys. Hey guys, yeah, some interesting names once again on this board. Some of the hotels uh, getting upgraded and downgraded today. MGM Resorts over here. We have uh, Las Vegas Sands over here, still in negative territory. That group was very strong yesterday, but a little bit of a split story for them so far. Billy Billy, nice uh, look on the chart right now. We did have a gap to the downside, even with an upgrade, but back in positive territory. Honeywell as well, also very strong. Uh, I mean, outside of MGM on this side, Charles Schwab not really doing anything. Square, really the only one that uh, was a little bit interesting. We'll uh, shift over to Billy Billy. Yeah, uh, we did get a move to the downside off of the open here, but holding now back above this 3250. I uh, like the way that one looks as long as 3250 is support for uh, BILI with an upgrade today. Uh, yeah, there's square big gap to the downside moving uh, even further now. Uh, this is $80 right here. A bit of a, f a pivot so far. $80 if it's below that. Might get a test of the low four square. If you're joining us for the first time, guys, welcome. Hit subscribe and like. We really want to get to uh, 30,000 subscribers, uh, a bit of a, a bit of a chore, but uh, help us out. Hit subscribe today, and uh, we'll notify you when we come back on every single day. Back over to you guys. And uh, we'll go floss it off because I haven't used it in a bit. We got the 220 break on Luckin, so another push to the downside, getting some out there at 16, 17. It's now heading back to that 215 mark. Like I said. 
two even seems like a reasonable target with this short position. So got a big win here on in luck and hang on for dear life. We also have IQ short uh, as well. I took some shares out there uh, and the 15 retest 1620 is my short. We'll see if we can't get back to low a day on that one. Uh, feels like the shorts are starting to come in. Uh, we do have a few of them on CCL. I mean, it waited for how long on this one? Uh, all week long. 1480 has been a level for me and I've sort of waited all week for this one. Uh, it is finally broken. So we are going to go long on this one on a breakout of CCL. Uh, it's the only long position I have on a stock that's trading. Uh, the other one's XTNT, which is halted. Yeah, guys, uh, CCL, and that's why we just keep doing it, guys. Uh, we do our wink again because, yeah, we are long here, 1465, uh, nice little cash out. Look, the thing about my trading today is, and it's actually been pretty good, it's just one fill and done. Like, everything we're taking is just t running for us, like ACB here, guys. You know, in, bang that out. In again, boom. We One trade, right? The next one, Baba. We one trade, right? The next one, Baba. Here it is here. Bang that short out. Hit that short again. One one trade again. Well, two trades, but back and forth right there. And now here goes CCL. We gave you that target 1485 in the pre-market. I mean, I wrote, it's right here. 1385 CCL. I don't know if you probably can't see that. Hard to zoom, hard to zoom out on that. Who cares? Uh, 1385. So that's where we get out. We go long 1465 and out right there 1485. That's what it is. Yeah, 1485, not 1385. There it comes to the upside. So yeah, bang it out there, CCL. Uh, we're winning and we're cashing out the cash. That's how we traded here on Trader TV Live. Follow me on Twitter. What up? Yeah, we just talked about two even like, I don't know, a minute ago on Luck and Coffee. Yeah, we're there already, guys. Uh, 203 was the bottom. You can see, obviously, I have a few executions on the way down here. 230 break. We had two levels we were looking at. It was a 250 break. Apologies for not catching that one off the open, but 230 was that bottom that we we're looking at as well. We grabbed that one, 29 short. I hope you guys are, are, are partying along here with us uh, for this luck and coffee short trade. I do really think it could catch a little bit of a bid here at two even, so I'll probably take the majority, you know, I'm just gonna probably take it all off in front of two. That was a nice target. It got to 203, that is certainly close enough. I do still have 15% of the position on here, which is a little bit heavy, uh, but still, it's a nice winner for us in Luckin. Uh, Moderna is also moving to the downside. We did grab that one short. I mentioned what I was doing with this one. I also talked about wanting to add to our position, unable to do so. I'm going to hang on, see if we can't retest low of the day. Uh, 67.50 is that low. Out in front would be my target. That'll give us a dollar win on Moderna. Uh, we didn't get the position size that we like, but that's fine. Uh, if it goes in the money for you right away, that's kind of a good thing anyways, guys. Uh, we're going to play a breakout again here. CCL, we're talking about 1485. So uh, watch out now. Uh, yeah, we're going to trade that. Uh, look, everything's just been fireworks central here uh, today for me. So uh, big day again. Uh, not as big already as it was yesterday by this time. Uh, but once again, guys, perfect. Uh, every single day this week, we've been a positive trader. So uh, we'll see if that can stay tuned today. No losing trades, guys. Check the bottom. You'll be able to see all of our stats, everything that we're trading, if we're up or down on certain names. But uh, you know if you've been following along that we're crushing this thing. So what up, Brandon? A little bit of a story here, guys, on Microsoft just coming out. Uh, looks like uh, they've acquired a company called Softomotive. They are a process automation software design firm. So uh, Microsoft getting into uh, some AI possibilities, maybe. Nice little pop on that news uh, to the upside. But we're right back down, all the way back to uh, 185.65 for uh, Microsoft. Guys. I mean, I don't know. We'll have to review our Microsoft, but uh, guess what? There it goes. I mean, CCL, guys. Yes, sir. It is falling money time uh, on this one. Uh, CCL, we just kicked that in. Uh, another big trade again, taking that 85. We're up to 90. We're actually putting on real risk here, guys. So uh, that's why we're getting super excited with these home runs. Big time plays happening all over the place. Welcome to the jungle. The water is warm. We just keep on hitting this. I have this at 1460. Now we have this at 1485. CCL for the win. I cannot believe we are doing this for free, guys. Uh, there it goes. ACB to the downside as well, 1580. We talked about that breaking the bottom. We have this short. Let's see if it breaks it now. We're short right now, 1584 on ACB. Looks like it's having some resistance at 80, but we'll wait to see what does. For those of you that are tracking along here, I like that 1480 break on CCL. I'll give you why. This was the level here, 1480, 1480, 1480. Uh, then 1507, the one time it did break, that was the top. I'm taking it out in front of 1507. 
even if it turns around, it's going to be a short opportunity. Failing to get to that high and break it uh, certainly could be a weak sign for us. So I am looking for a reversal if I can't take out 1507 on Carnival Cruise Line. Brendan, what do you got for us, buddy? A pin duo duo, guys, had an alert set for this high up here at 60 bucks. Yeah, that's gone. 60.50 now, straight to the upside for PDD. Uh, I mentioned that uh, Chinese ties uh, early in the uh, pre-market this morning, if you joined us, obviously moving back higher now. Guys. Yeah, I see you, Eric. Alibaba, we are out of Alibaba. We're not, uh, we're not trading that again, but uh, we will see. Yeah, thank you, Brandon. Yeah, it's not real risk when you're a pro, but uh, you know, I take that to heart, and thank you so much uh, for that as we continue to try for you guys uh, and try. We're not trying, we are doing. Uh, so yeah, that's a good one on us. Uh, thank you uh, for all the support you give us, uh, Eric, every day, and it's been very positive uh, to see that as well. So yeah, Carnival Cruise Lines, guys, we are out of that one. Uh, Neil talked about why he liked the break uh, at 1480. I liked it at 1485. We got out there 90.95 CCL basically well ACB is still my number one stock as that one goes through 16 uh, we'll talk about that but I'm going to get out of CCL as it looks like it's trying to fail here uh, we'll get out if it breaks down below 80 again guys but CCL has been a money maker for this guy over here let's go yeah, and I'm going to update you on IQ. I'm going to rinse and repeat this trade. If it's going to hang out here, I'm going to see if we can't get out every single time at 15 and then load back in at 16, 20. If it's going to be this sleepy, I like the range, I like the short, I like the pressure that it's been under. So I do want to be in this position, but if I can cycle in and out, uh, guys, we have direct market access here. If we can get paid to trade, I can actually sit there and make a rebate, make as many trades as I want for low fee. So uh, it's not that it, I don't believe in holding it. I am going to. I just feel like if I can sit here making money uh, while it holds this consolidation, why not go ahead and and do it. I'll uh, jump back over to one other name for you. Uh, that's going to be MRNA. It's very, very sleepy in this range. It's a very similar thing. Uh, I am looking, like, a, like I said, to add to our position above 69. If it does give me that entry point, we'll jump in again. 70 uh, is my stop uh, on that trade, guys. So still working those two short ones, and we still have that luck in coffee. It's not a huge position left. We've gotten out aggressively. It popped back and failed at, tw at, at 217. Uh, that kind of makes me believe I should be thinking about, you know, 220 or so, loading back into some shares here uh, if it wants to pop again and see if it retests that low. I am net shorting luck in until it proves otherwise. It's had one break, at two, one hold at two even. If it holds again, maybe then I'll consider a long, but not before that. Yeah, Luckin, uh, Luckin's a bit of big stock there. We traded that a couple days uh, ago. It was one of my top stocks yesterday, uh, actually, guys. So if you uh, want to see some Luckin trades, uh, yesterday was a great one. Check my Twitter out uh, for that as well. Okay, uh, CCL, there it is. Uh, we got it, it breaks through 1480. Uh, we did get out of some. We're holding small now. So uh, yeah, that one turned around on us. So uh, we are out of CCL now, uh, and we're looking for more names. We did talk about Baba there. Uh, Microsoft was another one we wanted to look at there. Uh, one, oops, dot NQ. Uh, 18580 uh, or so on Microsoft looking like a nice little long that was an interesting story uh, that Brendan had so that's why I'm a little bit nervous uh, to trade it through here but 18585 this break looks like it could be solid on softy so uh, we'll probably wind up taking that one guys yeah absolutely just looking again here where we can get that pullback trade in luck and I feel like I should be a little bit more aggressive I, I just mentioned to you guys 220 225 but the consolidation is a little bit lower than that so I feel like if I want to be in this trade I might have to add to the position at about 215 or so. Uh, so I don't want to get too impatient, uh, but I am going to try to dip into some shares uh, inside of that range, uh, 215 to 220 or so. Just a little more aggressive than I mentioned a couple of seconds ago. CCL for me, uh, I did mention I want to be out of this one if it, if it can't break that 1507 uh, mark. You did see it fail to get up there. Uh, it is holding the top, which is fine. It bounced back down, held 1480 uh, for the first time. It's trying to do so a second time. Uh, I'm not going to let it break too far past this price. I think we'll give it to maybe 75 if I haven't covered it in front of 1507 by that time. So Carnival Cruise hanging with the long at least for now. And I'm not going short until we get a real test. We haven't even tested 15 here, guys, 15 even, about six cents away from that, the current high of the day. Uh, but it's already 1020, and that means I can't keep the man waiting. Uh, Brendan Wickens, time for our small cap recap. Let's go to the big screen. Hey guys, yeah, small cap time. A uh, number of names moving around once again in small cap world. Let's start with NNDM. We talked about this just before the open. Uh, great opportunity here. I was talking about this 280 to 3 kind of channel that it was in for most of the afternoon. Uh, yesterday, we were holding below that in the pre-market. It did get kind of up into it, but every time we got above that 280, sellers stepped up and pushed it right back down. So great opportunity here uh, for NNDM. Uh, nice flush off the open all the way down to 230. So not a huge trade, but 
but uh, very well structured and uh, not a lot of risk involved when you think 280 up to 3, you get a nice move all the way down to uh, 250. The other one I want to mention uh, today was uh, this uh, other little uh, CLSK really hasn't done a heck of a lot uh, up this morning on positive news. Uh, we had $3 up to about 320 in the pre-market. Uh, that was resistance. If you go to a daily time frame, though, uh, you got to look at 350, I think, to 360 uh, before you get really involved in this on the uh, on the short side. Did give you a quick little 20 cent scalp here if you took that. I'm still holding this to see if we can't get back down into these levels from yesterday afternoon. Uh, it's kind of uh, dying out as far as volume is concerned already. So if we do get a little bit of a push to the downside, still like the CLSK uh, as well. Guys, back to you. Thank you very much, Brennan. Actually got into Macy's, believe it or not. I, you know, I didn't want to take this one unless it tested to the top side here. Uh, I mentioned the 530 level was one that I liked. I'm just going to give you the higher time frame so you can kind of see why. You had to go back a few sessions here. You can sort of see it was a 532 peak in the afternoon. Uh, you go back a couple of days and then you did have a nice support level that turned into that resistance. So if it spiked up to that price, I wanted it short. I didn't want to short uh, the five break right off of the open. That went like five. 5, 10 cents and then turn right around. So I am now finally short in Macy's here. You're going to give it some room to about 540 or so. It kind of, uh, if it consolidates here, I'll probably build into this position. I'm looking for a rollover back into VWAP. So again, you get a 10, 15 cent target on Macy's. There's nothing wrong with that. It's a $5 stock. So you have to temper your expectations. Macy's isn't moving a dollar. Some of these small caps that'll run might do that, but it's not going to happen over here in Macy's. So get that 10, 15 cents if you can. Risk about five, whatever it might be. So into Macy's, finally, uh, 530 on the short side. Yeah, Macy's uh, 5.30. Wow. Yeah, that was the one. I wrote down 4.80 uh, to the downside. So, wow, I was not expecting that. Uh, we talked about uh, J.C. Penney and that story. Uh, so, Macy's, yeah, just keeps on going uh, to the top side. I don't know, Neil. Watch out uh, for that one. But, yeah, you play the momentum to the top side as the market now goes green. And uh, we still have some of our CCL on. Uh, bang, bang, bang. If you're long off me on this one, uh, good for you. It's a money explosion uh, time for you as well uh, on that one. As you see some size here. Uh, at 15. I'm going to dump my shares now uh, and regroup. We are still long at 14.86 uh, right now on this name. We did dump some when it did break below. Again, you got to be a little bit disciplined. I thought maybe that move might have been done, but it's not uh, carried to the upside here. And guys, by the way, uh, we talked about, I'm going to get out right there. There we go. We're out at 97 there on CCL. So that's a nice little uh, cowbell. I did talk about uh, CCL changing the direction uh, here uh, once we broke through. That was at 13.20 uh, there. This is a daily chart I don't know okay you can still see it this is a 50 period we've now crossed up it so to me that's a change in trend and now you're gonna look upside on CCL so congratulations anybody uh, that had it down here eight nine ten uh, I don't think you're gonna see those prices again uh, maybe ever guys so nice little trade there on CCL for anybody that has it I believe uh, I'm looking at this Moderna trade and it's getting sleepy, sleepy, sleepy time. I, I did mention over and over again, I want to add to it at about 69.30 if you can get up towards that 50 mark. You're seeing it hold lower, uh, so we have to adjust our strategy here. If we're going to get more shares in here, it's probably going to have to be at the 69 even area. I'm not, I don't necessarily want to move my stop to 70, uh, but if you do look here, it's probably a little more reasonable, 69.70, 69.80. Just tighten it up a little bit. If we're going to be more aggressive with our entry, uh, we can be a little bit more aggressive with our stop to the upside. So going to adjust Moderna just by about 20 or 30 cents or so. Uh, luck in coffee, I will get to that while I'm adjusting that. Luck in again testing low of day here at that two even mark. So I do take uh, almost the rest of my shares out. The last of them should be down here at 203. This is the double bottom. If we hold here, yeah, I'm going to try along and we'll probably, see, we'll have a, probably have that blow up in my face. But if we bounce off too, I am going to take a shot that maybe the, a Luckin is going to have a bounce in it. This is the second time it's testing this level. This was our target short when we took 229 short side. Uh, we're a little bit, uh, I don't want to say timid, we just missed our pullback trade by about four or five cents there. So unfortunately, we didn't add to that one. But it's been a, bit, a big time winner for us on Luckin. We bounce here. I'll try the long. It'll be a two even stop. Only going to risk a couple of cents here uh, to see if we can catch a nice little 10, 15 cent bounce in luck. And now that it seems like it wants to try to hold 203. Yeah, Luckin, uh, Luckin, good stock. We are, we're, we're out of everything there. Uh, CCL, we got out at 97. We did talk about that one. Uh, Microsoft, we're still waiting for that break uh, higher. And I don't know if it's going to happen because uh, right now the futures are just kind of chilling out. Uh, so we have to wait on this one. I do like Microsoft, obviously, uh, back to the upside, but it's got to break through. And right now the momentum, I don't know, it's just it's kind of dead on this name. Not even really sure why I'm focused on it. But, uh, Brendan, give us another one. Uh, Boeing, guys, still going here. Day highs again. Just uh, broke day highs there, 144. 
more now uh, for Boeing up 7.8%. There was also a couple of uh, positive notes from analysts this morning out on Boeing, but uh, otherwise no significant news. Again, this entire group still very positive on the day, guys. Boeing. Okay, yeah, we haven't looked at Boeing yet, but uh, we did talk about that early. And if you join us early, you know what we're talking about because we go over all of these names on our pre-market show. So uh, definitely hit us up. Subscribe to the watch list if you haven't yet. I mean, uh, we can't say that enough. Uh, it's free and it's going out every single day and it talks about some of the names uh, that we are looking at. Right now I'm looking at ACB and just trying to figure everything out on this name, guys. Uh, we are going to wait to go short again if it does break that back down below, but that has to still happen. So uh, we're waiting for that one to break back down below. 1580 guys oh uh, you're the absolute man eric uh dal there you go delta we're happy about delta going up for a lot of reasons here uh shout out to some of our views i know we're cheering for this stock a uh, big breakout through 23 if you're hanging on to this one uh you better trail that or see how far it can go if the market's about to turn positive on the session uh how did i not even pick up that luck in long i tried to get that at 03 looks like we missed that one uh by just a little bit here uh the only thing i'm long outside of the stock that's halted is uh carnival cruise lines uh, is continuing to go upside here. I said if it failed to break 1507, that would be an opportunity for a short because it's now broken through. I'm just going to hang on to the long here, guys. Uh, I did have a stop at 75. I'll go break even now with my stop in Carnival. Brennan, what do you got? Uh, just watching L Brands here, guys, see if we uh, find any more news. But a uh, huge volume spike just came in uh, to LB as we broke day highs there. Got rejected pretty hard right back down. Uh, watch 14 here for L Brands. Uh, they obviously uh, reported earnings aftermarket yesterday. We mentioned that at the end of the show yesterday. Uh, nice look still for LB, guys. Yeah, LB was one name. I feel like I should have been paying attention to it. It's not on my list. And I'm trading a five or six active stocks, There's and I so don't. Many names. At this time of day, at 10:30, maybe it gets to lunchtime. I'd add some things into my list, so I'm not ignoring the names, Brennan. Uh, we're just heavily active trading here. I got a little more aggressive, like I said I needed to do, and probably took too long doing this in Moderna here, uh, adding to our position, not at a better price. We actually had to pay a worse price to get more shares. Uh, 68.80 is now my average. I'm looking to see if it can break 68, run this one into the low of the day. That's been the plan all along. Uh, we just had to get a little bit more aggressive uh, adding to this one. I thought maybe we'd get some shares closer to 69.50. Couldn't get there, however. Uh, some people are asking about INO. I promise you I will have a look at that one, Marcus. I just haven't had a chance uh, to look at that name. I have like 12 different stocks that I have actually traded today. Uh, INO has usually been a good one. It was my best one yesterday. Uh, that or luck, and it was very, very close between the two. I usually like shorting this one. I'll, I'll dig in to see if I get any confidence for the short retracement, but probably not till it tests 1560. Uh, hopefully, I don't know if you're looking for a little more than that, but unfortunately, I don't really see too much on INO just yet. Yes, Massey, I'm stuck in XTNT, and it's not my proudest moment ever. Long at 252, it keeps opening up and I keep missing it, guys. Uh, I only had, thank goodness here, I had about 10% of the position left. I took almost all of it out uh, for about a 10, 15 cent win. Missed it at three, missed it at 310, and every time it opens back up, I should just put a market on sell order in, uh, but it just keeps opening and closing. Uh, I'll probably end up taking the hit on the last bit of shares here because I'm not gonna let it break uh, past two even on this last little bit. That's why I'm sort of angry with myself, trading too many names to be caught in a small position in a halting stock over and over. Sometimes just put in that market on open order and just take whatever it is instead of trying to get cute with it. That's what we did, missing a dollar winner, missing flat, and missing a hit for about 50 cents here. So it is what it is, that's what happens. These are live trades. I got like seven positions on here trying to manage them all at once. Uh, but XTNT, I do not like giving away that profit as uh, thankfully we're not giving it away on IQ. And again, this is very much like Moderna, guys. I'm being very patient with this IQ trade. I am working this short. I am taking some off in the teens. I just got some out there at 10. I am looking to see if we can retest that low of the day. Not an overly volatile stock, so we're confident in holding this one and hanging into this position. I want it to break 16 even ultimately, uh, but I'm allowing it some room to travel to that price, give myself an opportunity to reload in front of 16.25. I do like this short here. I'm going to hang on to it as long as we can, uh, see if we can't get a test of the and break of that 16 bottom. Brandon, what do you got, bud? I'm just watching a little uh, technology company here, BoxL, uh, down 6% today. This uh, yesterday, this is yesterday, just uh, so you know, uh, we're looking at 12.25 in the afternoon, just after just we were so disappointed uh, this happened just after we went off air uh, as far as the show is concerned but they announced a 10 million dollar uh, supply contract uh, in the middle of the day yesterday uh, if we get below this low 110 105 area this thing could be back to 80 cents where it started the day yesterday guys
Hmm, Lady Sense, you say. Okay, uh, ACB, uh, we're still on that name. And Microsoft, unfortunately, guys, you see what's happening with the futures here. Uh, so Microsoft is heading southbound, uh, needless to say, 185 and change. So uh, we may have missed the boat on that one, uh, going short uh, where we wanted to go long. We're, we're not in Microsoft at all. Uh, if it does break down even further, uh, Microsoft weaker. Well, actually, it's, it's attached uh, to the market today, attached at the hip, uh, as you guys can see. So we'll wait to see here uh, what Microsoft wants to do. Uh, we're down 0.37, Microsoft down 0.4. Uh, so that's a name that we're going to continue to look at here, uh, as well as Alibaba. Uh, that one's coming to 12. Sean, I'm going to hit talk, this yeah, one. Sure. I, I really don't have it. I've hit a few keys today. We haven't hit the confetti. Moderna was a patient trade, like I said. We just took some out at the 68 mark for about an 80 cent win. I am looking to see if we can break through the low. It's held one time, 69.50. It's trying to do it again. If it breaks that low, we'll start thinking about trailing the stop. Uh, of course, I do have a breakout trade. Uh, uh, sorry, a, 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 a stop order already above VWAP here uh, for our shares. But I want to see if we can go lower. Once the low is taken out, I will readjust my stop to make sure it stays a profitable trade. I am going to give you the position board because it's way too many things one name that you will finally 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 not see on there and i just took out at 227 is xt nt that last little 20 percent of our trade sorry 10 percent of our trade should have been out for a dollar winner and we end up taking a 25 cent hit on a 250 dollar stock sloppy 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 but look at all the positions i got on here guy uh, that's just a little bit of a buyout trade i'm active in it it's not going to move more than a penny or two at a time iq short 16 10 20 is in the money for us nicely luckin we finally went long in this at 204 macy's we're still in this one at 530 it's in the money we'll update you on that in a second moderna i just talked about that one's deep in the money, eh, about a dollar or so. I am looking for a break. I want more than a buck or a buck twenty. We're looking for a couple of dollars on Moderna here. I know it can go more than this. Look at the downtrend. If it breaks 67.50, floodgates are opening up. So hang tight with that one. Yeah, Moderna, uh, what's the price of that? 66? Uh, yeah, I, I was talking, and again, guys, uh, I wish you could hit the, re wow, 67. Uh, well, I they can hit the rewind because you can rewatch the, re the show. Yeah, YouTube, so uh, I was talking about this stock being a fraud all the way up here at 77 or 78. Uh, I wish I would have saw this move today, but yeah, glad Neil has this one uh, to the downside. Uh, today goes Moderna. So uh, yeah, again, I didn't like when they uh, released their uh, the secondary there uh, after they had the vaccine. That seems to me uh, a little strange why would you release it then right so that's uh, sort of my theory on that but uh, okay guys hit the like hit the subscribe uh, how many likes do we have uh, right now Valeria uh, maybe we can go to her in a minute uh, and show that up and she can floss it off uh, because we want more likes and more subscriptions we are dropping our next video support and resistance that video is coming through or not, no, no, by, the the by the dip. By the dip. By the dip. By the dip. Uh, Related the dip. topic, though. Related topic. Yeah, yeah. Good topic. Either way, we got the good topics for you guys. Uh, those are coming out through uh, at 11:55. So stay tuned to that one. Uh, we'll be coming. What's up, Valeria? Valeria, cracking up over here. It's so funny. No, no, no Valeria yet? No. Okay, uh, we'll wait on her, but uh, she's having a good old time, and so are we. I hope you guys enjoy the show. It's been a good one. Brendan, come with something, bud. Uh, we were from yesterday. yesterday, guys, just watching this ALDX trying to break to the downside. Pretty muted action so far in uh, small cap world outside of that XTNT, really. Uh, 450 here was support off of the open. We get through that. Uh, probably four dollars, but uh, this one, if you remember, was uh, way up here yesterday morning at six bucks. So still kind of working its way back to the downside, guys. All the way up, working its way to the downside. And I guess going up in smoke and nothing against you Macy's, but I, I was waiting for a pop to short this one. I, a break would have been nice, uh, but we did get the pop finally to that 5:30 mark. I have taken some shares out, 25, uh, 21 here. I'll get some more out in front of VWAP if it breaks down. Uh, I think what 5:10 is going to probably have some support down there, and then eventually maybe get to that five even mark. It Again, uh, it just felt like the price action would be better if I was able to catch this one uh, on the way up as opposed to getting a breakdown. That's what happened to happen here. So I do have a long and luck in coffee. I said I'd take a stab at this one in front of two even. Unfortunately, on our chart here, these arrows, uh, they can be getting out of a short. There's no differentiation between this last one, which is a long entry at 203. But you can see our positions uh, roll through on the bottom there. Long, not giving it past two even. If it breaks two, I'm the heck out of this one. Uh, let's go to Valeria. What do you got? Hello dear viewers and welcome everyone who just joined us. Guys, hit the subscribe button now and you will receive notifications when we are back on air. Well, Sean, so far we have 882 likes, which is so cool. Guys, you are fire. Our goal is 1000 likes. 
But no, let's do it 1,200 because yesterday we already reached 1,000. Let's right. break all the record. Hit the thumbs up. I will be putting uh, floating me or fireworks as you like more. Write in the comments or maybe you want each hundred likes to see Sean flossing or Neil. Uh, we all can floss. So guys, support us with likes. And guys, I know that a lot of uh, traders, beginners are watching us. So we have a whole educational channel for you called Mark. Market Wisdom by Trader TV Live. Subscribe to this channel. We already have a lot of educational videos there and we'll be constantly posting them. And today we will release our next educational video, how to buy deep. Stay tuned. We'll be sending the link on the chat. And of course, subscribe, hit the thumbs up and have a great day. I see you later back to traders. This happened to me on, I forget, it was the, the airlines yesterday on UAL. When the reversal came in, it's like, I'm way too late for this one. You know I like to hunt some shorts, guys. And 1480 on that CCL, uh, we do get a move up to that 1510 mark, 1507 mark. It broke it, it came back in. I should have been net short uh, before this 75 break. We're not, unfortunately. So uh, I'm very, very late to this party. I'm short here, right basically at VWAP. I'm gonna build something in front of that 1480 mark from before. Uh, the market is starting to come back in here, guys. So uh, into the short and CCL, I'll try to build something between 1480. That's uh, gonna still be my out. Moderna bounces off 67 even, so it's still in the money a dollar. We had a dollar 50. I told you why I didn't want to take it. I thought we'd get 2250 on a break of low of day. Brandon, what do you got? Another one we were looking at earlier in the week, guys. Shift Pixie, P I X Y, was a big mover to the upside. We're down, yeah. 26% today. Another one today, guys, with a share offering all the way down here at 510. We're just bouncing off that if you're wondering what happened to that P I X Y, guys. Yeah, what happened to PIXY? Uh, Is it bad that I wasn't wondering what happened to PIXY? <laughs> no. no I, I kid, guys, but uh, that's actually a name that we were looking at rather heavily uh, a little bit earlier on. Uh, I want to keep updating you guys on a sleepier trade here, uh, IQ. I am going to stay in that net short. This is a band that I was sort of working with here. It's a 1610 short. We had an initial entry at 15. I feel like that was a bad spot, but we loaded up in front of this uh, 25 area. It held one time. I will take more shares if it gets back to 1620, but I am working some out here. I now have uh, only a quarter of my position left, and I'm leaving that in for a 16 break. So no matter what happens, if 16 breaks, I will stay net short. Uh, the only long position left is going to be luck and coffee, and uh, I don't know. Every you, if you can't beat them, join them. It is what it is, guys. It's not that I believe in the long and luckin'. I just said if it made a double bottom, I would take a shot. We're long here down at 204. I'm not going to get too greedy. If it takes, give me 10, 15 cents, I will be happy with that type of a trade here in Luckin. It really hasn't broken the downtrend until you get above maybe 215 to 220 anyways. Uh, so I'm looking for a place to short this one again. But the long has come in for us. A nice little winner here. Uh, but we're going to take it off pretty soon here, guys. Uh, Luckin, yeah, Luckin. I mean, I don't know. I haven't been looking at that one today yet. Uh, okay, but ACB right back into uh, the winner's circle on this one, guys. Uh, ACB, here we go. We're short again uh, on this name. It's coming right to the downside. 1584 is where we're short. We waited for this one to come through, and now, uh, yeah, the money's being made on this name. So ACB coming to the downside now. Uh, we still are short 1584. Uh, your boy Weed Batman is still here, uh, so don't worry about that. We'll see if this one uh, can't keep on making us some money. Uh, ACB to the downside. I'm looking at uh, yesterday's kind of close. Uh, believe it or not, 15. If we can get down to 15 on this one, then that's when we'll take it off. Not until then, guys. Uh, ACB right now for a nice little win. Let's see. I need you to to do this fall in a hole moderna let's go here 6710 is still low it broke the previous low of 6750 if 67 even goes then we'll finally get that two dollar win i think that we've been looking for here but uh, uh hey if it wants to put in a double bottom here i'll probably have to trail this one out make sure we lock in a dollar worth of profit we've already taken some out for that win so we are playing with a little bit of house money here uh, that's why we structured the trade that's why we uh, wanted to add to our position as well uh, to allow us to be able to hold a little bit further here i am still building that carnival position uh, to the short side right in and around view up but I did take some out when it broke 60 so I took some out at 57 I thought my price should be closer to 75 and it was 65 so I'll see if I can't get some shares in the 70 to 75 range and get a better price action on that name but we are heavy short guys you see the market roll over here I'm gonna update the position board for you because it's a sea of red for me I just got out of that luckin so no longer there carnival short here 
I don't have 75. I wish that was my price. I don't know why I keep saying it wrong. I'm short at 64 on Carnival Cruise. IQ short at 1620. Macy's short at 530. That's in the money as well. A Moderna we're short at 6874. That's a $1.70, $1.80 now in the money working to the downside. NNDM, I'm hanging on to that small cap at 251. No reason to get out. Clean downward trend. So all short, all morning uh, since that body reversal long and a little bit of luck in thrown in as well. It's 1040. It is time to get to the big screen. We've got our sector watch with Brendan. Hey guys, yeah, let's have a look at the S&P 500, see what is moving the market so far today. You're going to uh, see a store, a tale of two stories, I guess. Uh, positive on this side, negative stocks over uh, on that side. Overall, we are negative, but uh, just half a percent to the downside for the S&P. Uh, some of the banks really struggling so far today, specifically these guys down here, diversified financials, all pretty much in negative territory. Uh, we did have a number of earnings reports out in the insurance group today, so uh, CB, HIG, and C. CINF all up more than 5%. So overall, uh, financials are negative, but just slightly. Uh, I'm going to flip over to this side to show you consumer discretionary stocks. Uh, really the only strength in the market at this point so far today. Uh, all of these guys uh, were negative yesterday. Kind of a split story so far today. The cruise lines nicely higher CCL, NCLH, and RCL all about uh, at least 4 to 10% to the upside. Well, all of the hotels are back to the downside. Uh, typically, they've been moving uh, one and the same. Over here, some retailers, L Brands, yeah, 16% after earnings beat. GPS, KSS, and uh, TJX, uh, all at least 5% to the upside or more. ROST and JWN also having nice days. Retailers are providing some strength. Industrial stocks down here, mentioned Boeing, yeah, still 6.8% to the upside for Boeing. RTX there, the other one, and TD, uh, TDG, 5%. Uh, ALLE, 3.25% to the downside. Side. I just quickly want to talk about uh, consumer staples over here. Uh, very, very negative so far. Uh, there was a couple of earnings reports in this group uh, in the food space that were negative. So uh, this group as well to the downside and energy stocks kind of falling off the screen there, but uh, also in negative territory as crude oil is giving up on some early gains. Uh, overall, guys, about 0.4% in negative territory for the S&P. Back over to you. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Bye bye, Moderna. Uh, yeah, we just broke the low of the day on Moderna. 67, long gone. 66, 60. We're in the money. A couple of dollars on this one. Finally, finally, finally breaking to the downside here. It took the low of the day and it actually waited for about 15 minutes before we got this big flush on Moderna. I'm out of CCL. Bad price entry. Cost myself an extra 10 cents. Should have been 75 short. We're 65 short. Uh, that was our position. Ignore that position board. Uh, that was incorrect. But Moderna hanging on for dear life. And I'm going to slide my stop now up to this 67.50 range here. If it goes back into that price, we'll lock in ah, about a dollar twenty-five, dollar fifty or so. Uh, but right now, the money two bucks and hanging on, guys. Uh, yeah, Moderna, uh, and guess what, guys? Another one just uh, right here on ACB. Uh, you can see this, guys, a short uh, taken right here at 15.78. Uh, now we'll start cashing out our best out there, uh, 15.60. So that's an 18 cent winner uh, as it just keeps on going uh, here, guys. Uh, we're, we're crushing these cannabis names uh, today. Well, only one name, uh, and it's been all this uh, today. Sit back, Netflix, and smoke. We talked about that as a joke, but I think that's what a lot of people are doing. ACB, though, today. Today, they get into the CBD game. Now, the thing about that is there's a lot of players, obviously, in that game. We talk about why CBD. We talk about the big boy uh, that I'm invested in, Canopy, uh, also making moves into that space as well. So CBD, uh, that's the space to be in, I believe. That's where the medical breakthroughs are going to come through. Uh, and now ACB has that. We're short right now, but uh, we are waiting for more downside. The reason why we're short is just it's up so much here the last couple of days. We do have a shorting video on our Market Wisdom page. So anybody interested in checking that out uh, head over we do have some here it comes ACB uh, nice little move down yeah here we go 1577 this is a 20 cent winner uh, right now I'm waiting for 1550 uh, we got some orders there we'll see if those can fill but downside right now on ACB let's keep this party going guys. yeah downside 66 about to break on Moderna it just broke we're short at 6874 now three dollars in the money on the Moderna trade uh, I didn't have a lot of levels I was going back a few sessions ago there's a ton of chop 
between 65.50, 66 as well. So I am going to continue to trail this one to make sure we lock in some profit here. But just not a lot of reason as it is dying a, slow, dying a rapid death now in Moderna. You missed the first half of this breakdown. That's fine. Lick your wounds. Come back in. We like this to the short side. We jump into this trade. And now we're, now we're profiting from it. I mentioned how I had to get more aggressive on my entry price or my second entry. Thank goodness we did on that one. That's why you have to notice the price action continuing that trend. Just jump into the shares. Don't wait too long or you'll miss the boat there. Brennan, what do you got? Uh, Alta Beauty here, guys, having a really nice day. A little bit thinly traded. Volume's low. But look at this move. We had from 211 down here off of the open. We're at 220 right now uh, for ULTA. Uh, 220, bit of a significant level as far as resistance for this name. So if we get above that, uh, this thing moving higher. Some of the uh, beauty names strong, guys. Yeah. Alta Beauty is a good one there, a little expensive, uh, but uh, we'll wait to see uh, what's happening right now. ACB is the one, uh, the money maker right now, 1559. Uh, we're going to give this one all the way back to 16. So right now we're cashing out. Uh, we're out of half uh, of our trade already on ACB. This was a keystroke error. No need to get out there. Uh, we need to wait for 16. So you get a little bit. Neil's talked about some of these bad wicks. So sometimes they get that uh, and you get triggered. But uh, right now we still are short half of our position right now on ACB. So. Uh, we like 1577 and if we break this down even more and go into like a 10 minute chart or something uh, you can see a lot of room to come here uh, on ACB guys that's a big move uh, just for a CBD name so uh, they only spend 40 million I don't know if this is a game changer we'll see ACB back to the downside let's hold this and see if we can't really 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 count our chickens up here because uh, I think that uh, this stock is about to crack there you go for a little bit cracking some eggs there guys That's sweetness uh, with the market kind of rolling to the downside it's not a huge move i'm looking at the es and it's like i don't know like down half a percent and you get the nasdaq here down 0.74 but it's looking relatively weak and i talked about that iq sleepier trade here i did get some out in front of that 16 down here at 1605 and i do have a stop at 25 so i don't want to load up too aggressively until i get closer to that 20 mark but yeah i'll take a shot as it tries to roll over here at a lower high adding to this short at 16 17 just working back into it it's a different style of trade from like a Moderna now in the money three bucks, but I like to play a little bit of both ends here. I can have a slow short that I'm working over in IQ, which is working out for us, but also have this Moderna in the money now three dollars and forty cents here. Sixty-five could break on Moderna, and it's not that I have an idea how far it can go. We're now through that chop that I talked about a few sessions ago. Uh, so sixty-five breaks. I mean, these floodgates keep opening up here. I'll continue to trail this one. Won't make anything less uh, than about two dollars on this trade, no matter what. Let's go Moderna. Keep going to zero, guys. I like, uh, yeah, that, that is where it's going. Um, I, I do like uh, right now that Valeria is hitting the floss because that means we've probably done something, right, Valeria? Um, I don't know how many. Did we hit it? How many? 1,000 wow. likes. So there it's you go. It's not even go. 11 o'clock Punch here. it in the face. 1,000 likes. Guys. Here we go, guys. Thank you so much. We're glad. Holy, here we go. Falling off the face of the earth. ACB uh, down to 1450 and breaking it. Adios, amigos. We like that timber. See you, ACB down to the downside here. Uh, big trade on for me. Uh, again, we have no wrong. I mean, everything today is monstrous, guys. Uh, big time trade today. Big time profits let's just keep this day going for you guys uh, we're having a lot of fun needless to say uh, as it's been a lot of big big time moves today guys yeah absolutely and I keep sitting manually uh, setting my trail here and you can use a trailing stop if you really want to something like a Moderna I tend to be a little bit more hands-on with my approach there uh, I also mentioned that IQ slower trade but it is giving me that shot here at 25 if it's going to play in this range, I want to be shorting in that 15 to 20 uh, range, but more aggressively between 20 and 25. So it gets up in here. I already have my stop locked and loaded. I can always add to my position very comfortably. So I'm uh, going to continue to do that in IQ. It's a sleepier name, IQ short. Uh, Macy Short, which I should probably get to update you guys on. It's not really moving a heck of a lot. It's a $5 stock. I have different styles of trade. I was looking to load back in. Uh, we got a 5.30 entry. It got about to 5.29. I could have rolled into some shares more aggressively there. Uh, continue this potential downward trend in Macy's that it looks like it's doing. So I might have to do that instead of at 5.30, maybe at 28 or 29 uh, for now. But Brendan, what do you have for us? Uh, another earnings name, guys. We mentioned this one a little bit earlier. BJ Wholesale just breaking two day highs. Really like this chart. Uh, a nice little consolidation at day highs above 32 significant level there just took the top off on uh, bj wholesale guys 12 percent now back to you 
All right, BJ Wholesale still rocking and rolling. Yeah, I mean, a lot of these stocks right now. Uh, we did celebrate uh, a little bit here on ACB. We didn't even get any out, though. So uh, the celebration uh, is still there. Uh, I'm still waiting for this to go down. Uh, we still have half of that position on uh, right now. I think maybe we should. It's, it's having a little bit of a problem, and I think it's very key to understand, guys, that I like to trade off these kind of levels, guys. 50, uh, 55s, not 55, sorry. Uh, the, the even dollars, 50s, 25s, 75s. So we may be bouncing right now off of that level. So we're going to watch it here at 1550, maybe take some out, but it's been a monster day uh, so far today. And here we go. Let's see. Yeah, see, tries to break and then doesn't. We got to get some of this out. I think we'll dump about half of what we have now as the summer resistance here at 1550. What up, Brendan? A little bit of a slow trade as we mentioned today, but finally the CLSK guys back to the downside. Uh, just watch this 250 here uh, was uh, resistance right at the end of the day for this thing, CLSK. So we're back to that level now uh, for that one. But uh, finally, it's been a slow one, but CLSK working out, guys. Yeah, and uh, we'll hit the jackpot. Moderna was a fantastic short if you added off the open. It was a fantastic short if you added on consolidation. Uh, my trailing stop just got triggered out there, and a lot of times you hit a trail, it's going to look ugly. Uh, oh, but I am dude. looking at 65 as a potential breakdown. Look at this trend. It really didn't even break. Uh, we did give it to see if it would break that 66.50 mark. It does go to the upside here. I think we can hu start hunting for some re-entry points, however. You are seeing a clean trend. If it doesn't break past that like 67 chop area that we had before, this secondary push it's probably still going to be a short even a 65 break for some scalp shorts with the weakness that i'm seeing should be in the cards luck and coffee is holding above two dollars once again so i'll probably give it another shot here i don't love the long and luck in uh, but i can't ignore the fact that it gave me a nice bounce off of 203 204 we're able to get it out in the teens like we said we'll try it again uh, the short trade you could probably go both ways here, just sort of shorting the teens and then out in front of two even, go long, and then back and forth. And if it doesn't break out of the range and sits there all day long, it's done 37 million shares, so why not take advantage of it if you can? I still like the two even break downside. I'm probably not going to take a breakout long and luck in. Uh, I just don't like that kind of a trade. I'd rather long in front of support rather than long a breakout in a stock this week. It's 10.50. Wow, past 10.50. It's time for Money Talks with Brennan. Okay, yeah, let's go over to currency land, guys. We'll have a look at uh, some major pairs, uh, see what is happening so far today. Uh, pretty uh, muted action, once again, right across this board so far. Uh, we've been talking a little bit about some U.S. dollar weakness early in the week. Uh, outside of uh, bounce back in the U.S. dollar, uh, not a lot to talk about here. So uh, you're going to find the euro, the Canadian dollar, and British pound all in negative territory so far today. Uh, we were mentioning that uh, 72 cent mark for the uh, Canadian dollar coming into play yesterday. Back below it again today, 71.8. Uh, 110 uh, the euro was at yesterday, so we're down uh, to 109 and a half. Wanted to mention uh, Turkish lira positive today. Uh, Turkey cutting interest rates uh, early this morning, uh, 6.8 towards the U.S. dollar. Cryptocurrency is not really doing a lot. Uh, Bitcoin down today, 5%. Uh, we're back to 9,000. Uh, we were talking about that 9,800 level up there for Bitcoin earlier in the week, but back to 9,000, 9,100. Ethereum following suit, uh, back to 200, five and a half percent to the downside for ethereum as well let's go back to sean I like to trade some of those cryptos uh, every once in a while, but uh, right now, you know, we do have access uh, to Bitcoin uh, on the futures as well as GBTC uh, over there on the pink sheet. So shout out uh, to anybody over there looking at that name. Uh, should be a good one uh, to go as well. Look, ACB guys, we did talk about that one and yeah, there it is. Uh, we'll hit that. I love this graphic. Oh, another one that everybody likes to, oh shoot, I just missed it. Uh, how do I go back, back, back? I have this little board here. It's pretty cool. What's the board called again? Stream Deck, Stream Deck. So we have that. We can uh, throw down some of these uh, animations for you. And uh, there's another one, Valeria Batman uh, in the building as well. Uh, so yeah, look, it's been a big day, guys. We can do a quick little recap here. ACB, so so far, uh, banger. Long year off the open. Uh, this was 8.55. We celebrated that one. Follow me on Twitter. Uh, we talked all about this trade on ACB. That was 50 cents before many people even woke up. Uh, and then we, did, we got out for flat on the last 10%. I always hold 10%. Uh, 
percent. Those of you that are watching us, follow us on Twitter. You'll see most of these charts being tweeted out, and then we'll explain them later. But uh, 15, 16, 50, we talked about that break as well. We let it fall down, consolidate, got confident, take that break to the upside again. Um, this trade here, I'll have to find out uh, what happened. Looks like it's a 10 cent hit. Uh, not sure. 1580 break out 16. Oh, yeah, okay, that's 20 cent hit. And then right here, we take that trade again. So sometimes you got to sort of, like we say, put your money where your mouth is. And I like the short here. It fails. So when it comes back down, I take the short again. And now we're reining in on that one. So that is ACB. CCL, another stock, guys. A one hit wonder right here. We take the long 1465 cash in. I trade with a lot of shares. So there's that cash. Here we go again, trading it again here. 1485 to the upside. Get out and we're done that stock. Good little out there. Alibaba, one more time, guys. Uh, this stock short here and out. That was fantastic. Only got out of half. Gave it all back right here and then some up there. Shorted here and bang. So it's been a relatively light day for me, but the cash is coming in, guys. Absolutely. Just sort of sitting back down. I was answering a question there. Someone was asking, uh, uh, apologies, uh, uh, about where Luckin could possibly go. I am longing again in front of that two even mark. Look, I mean, obviously you can see here if it holds that bottom, there's all kinds of reasons why maybe it goes up to 225, retest some of those, you know, our original short level of 230, maybe even gets retested. Uh, but for me, it's going to be look for bigger trades short side and just scalped along. Uh, that's worked for a couple of days and luck in. I'm back in here at 04. Uh, I'll take more shares at 03 and 02 in front of two even if it wants to hold that bottom. Low of the day is actually 202. It hasn't even gotten to that even dollar mark. So I'll continue to scalp that one to the long side. If it continues to work for us, fantastic. I doubt that I'm going to like it much more than that to the long side. Maybe, maybe, maybe if something crazy happens like a massive shorter short seller comes in at like 15 to 20 and gets blown out of the water and I'm long at that point, maybe we hang on to some shares. Otherwise, scalp 10 cents, get back in at the bottom, short the break of two even. That's the plan for me. And I'm not, I'm not going to... Uh, you gravitate away from that unlucky until I get a really, really strong reason to do so. I just prefer it when I'm selling it. Yeah, lucky. I mean, that, and that's the thing, guys, and that's why we're here to talk about all these trades and these different ideas uh, that we have. You know, follow us uh, and then trade your blotter. I mean, that's really, uh, I don't know if Neil and I can say that enough. Uh, trade your trade, right? Uh, we are here giving you some of these key stocks that we think are going to be uh, important and runners for the day. So uh, you sort of got to pay attention, see what we're trading, and then trade your stock uh, and the way you trade accordingly because uh, everybody holds things just a little bit different. Uh, some people looking for big winners, some people scalping them out. So uh, you do got to wait for that. Alibaba 211.24. I mean, I keep saying that. Uh, I'm still waiting for this break. Actually, that's not 24. That's 211.65. So if we can get a break here of Alibaba, I like that to the short side. So let me fix up my trades uh, patterns here because I have Microsoft to the long. We're not going to be doing that. What I'm doing now is canceling uh, some of my orders. And I mean, we talk about uh, how we trade. We trade with stop orders on the show. At least I do primarily. I know Neil does as well. We're using our magic hands uh, most of the time to get out of trades. But to get into trades because we miss so many because we're doing this, we're talking, and I can't keep my eyes on everything, which is why we're looking everywhere. But uh, I'm going to wait and put a stop order here, 211.65, to get into a short short position hopefully on Alibaba guys. Uh, Brennan has something for us, but I know someone was asking right here, was just answering a question, Sirach, there about CCL. I bungled a bit of that re retracement short, but it is putting in a lower high. Uh, just watch out for this little VWAP bounce. I don't like this right now, unless it breaks back above like 1490, 15 for maybe a long trade or settling below VWAP for a short. So I'm staying away from CCL, at least for the short term. Uh, Brennan has something. What do you got? Uh, just on this NNBC, guys, the name we've traded many times on the show. Uh, still down 12% here. Another one with uh, an offering today. Uh, we were up above $9 yesterday, all the way down to just broke eight. Once again, to the downside. Uh, if we can get through this uh, $7.90, it looks like. Long way to go down here. $7.27 even could come into play uh, for NNBC if we start heading southbound once again. Uh, guys, hit the subscribe button. Help us out. We're almost at $22,500. That would be great today. Uh, we're going to uh, get ready here for a European close update coming up here. Uh, guys, back over to you. All right, Sorry, yeah, I'm taking European a sip of my cold coffee here. And yeah, I, I know, like... <laughs> i got to get another one. Uh, but Randy's not here and Valeria uh, is busy. But yeah, cold coffee. Unfortunately, when it starts getting warm here, we get literally blasted uh, from, from... There's from... like a vent, like Sean, there's a vent like right above you. So it's not that bad where I'm sitting, but I hate to throw... Usually, uh, guys, if you, if you haven't been watching for a longer period of time, usually Sean and I would be sitting next to each other. We can, you know, sort of chat and see what's going on. It's a nice flow. But of course, uh, we're doing some social distancing, obviously. So he's over in their corner. Uh, but also, uh, Europe is a thing. 
And we need to get to the big screen. I know you want to see Valeria for our European update. Let's go to her. Hey guys, welcome to European Update. Europe mostly in the negative territory today, though Spain is up 0.65%, uh, Switzerland is also up 0.27%, Britain is down 0.1%, Germany is down 0.84%, France is down 0.48%, and Russia is down 1.92%. Well, guys, business activity in Eurozone rebounded in May. EasyJet Airlines uh, announced that they are going to restart some flights from June 15. Another airline company, Lufthansa, uh, is, o is in talks over 10 billion rescue deal. Well, that's all with Europe for now, and I'll keep you updated. Guys, hit the thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. On our chat, I promise that when we reach 30,000 of subscriptions, I'll do the floss dance uh, in real life on air. So guys, subscribe now if you want to see me flossing, not only in the animations. I'll see you later. Back to traders. Okay, oh, so look, first of all, I probably don't call for like, you know, the, the subscribers and the likes enough, but come on. If you don't want to see Valeria floss, I know there's no way I could pull it off. I think it's a little complicated, but uh, I'm old. It is what it is. Let's see her do it. I think that'd be a, a lot of fun. We try to have some fun here and be entertaining. Of course, we're doing live trading. Of course, we're trying to learn something, but you might as well enjoy what you do. And I'd love to see it, so please. Uh, guys, hit that like and subscribe button. Let's get up there, see if we can't get to that number. It would be fantastic if we could. It would be fantastic if Macy's could roll over. The futures are rolling to the downside. 0.8% uh, to down, down on the NASDAQ here. I'm seeing the ES approaching those lows as well. And Macy's, while in the money 10 cents, that's not enough. I thought we'd be down around 5.10, testing 5 even at some point before lunchtime. Very slow action, so it is in the money for me here, guys. It's just a little bit more buy support at 5.20 than I was expecting to run into. So I might take some more shares off here for a 10 cent win, uh, just in case it bounces. I, I wasn't expecting to find buy support on Macy's this strong, uh, but here we are. It, someone's buying it at 5.20, I'll take some more shares out here. I think that's the thing, like we don't really care uh, what people do, right? It's just a matter of what we see uh, and where that support and resistance is. So a uh, good little look there on Macy's. And uh, oh yeah, guess what guys? This guy has got it once again. Here's ACB. Look, I, I'm not trading as actively right now. It's 11 o'clock, and you can see, though, this stock just keeps on going, guys. We did take out half at 50, mistake or not, but it's a cash register, so we ring that register, take the profits. ACB, we're still hovering around that short side, so there we go. Let's see how far it can go. Uh, like I said, guys, big move up here on ACB today. We did go long early. All these greens are longs, followed by, it's, I guess it's hard to see when I do that but followed by some of these short sell ticks you know what I have uh, we have something on our screen here about short selling uh, these are the short sell arrows so if you can see here uh, you're gonna see a little bit of explanation down below anytime you get a purple arrow uh, by me or Neil that's a short sell and we don't have a problem telling you guys that so I'm gonna put another bid down here 1535 that's where it stopped we'll see if we get out of about half of what we have left and then we'll wait for 15 guys but nice little move here on ACB speaking of shorts I'm not short lucking and here comes that bottom again so yeah yeah I'm gonna go long again in front of two even 203 uh, we just entered into position uh, thankfully we took some shares out in front of 210 again I feel like I'm gonna be taking smaller wins on this bounce play each time and eventually it's just gonna be a, a, a big time short through two even when that does break I mean if you go to the level two here I will show you uh, the liquidity it's not a ridiculous amount, to be perfectly honest with you. That's not a lot of shares here uh, for a stock that's done 39 million, so it might chew through to even rather easily, but I am long here at 03. I'll probably take a bunch out in front of 10. I know some people were cheering for 220 as a target. I, I'm not feeling it, to be honest with you. I think the long is okay here because you have some support. I, I'm just not buying into this one going to 220. I could be dead wrong about that, but I'll be taking this one off uh, 210, 215, somewhere in that range if I can get it, guys. Okay, uh, yeah, good little look there, and guess what just happened, guys? Oh, man, I don't even know what to do. You know what? Let's just rain the money down. We don't need to hit these animations. You guys know uh, what I have and what we're doing right now, and it's just ACB uh, taking it to the bank. So uh, right here, ACB downside got out of that one. We're going to look for some more trades uh, to make, but it's been a it's crazy day uh, here for these names. Uh, I was on it yesterday. Someone said uh, ACB is Sean's favorite stock. Uh, you're probably right now. Uh, I change it every day, but I'm still going to go with Mr. Softy. What happened to my Baba short? Uh, I don't know. Okay, hopefully you guys have this. I was just talking about putting in a stock 
top order here uh, and that we missed some trades. Well, there's the ACB short, guys. 211.6, sorry, ACB. Alibaba short there, 211.67. We should have had that one. That's a 25 cent winner. I'm going to regroup and see what exactly I did. I, I don't even have it in there. So, uh, like we go, we're talking too much here, but that's a nice little short on Alibaba. Let me know if anybody on the chat there uh, has it because that's a great trade. Uh, I hope you guys are in that one. Watch out to the top side. You have VWAP up here, 212.40. And here comes that luck in, guys. And, uh, you know, sometimes when you have a gut feeling on something, it turns out like it could be right. So uh, I'm going to be manually getting out of this one. I want to make sure we can catch this break of two even here. So <clears throat> double duty. I have a stop order that's locked and loaded, ready to go. In case it misses, I also want to make sure I can manually get into this position because uh, I want to reverse to the short if two breaks. It's not enough for me to get out. I want to make sure I can catch this short sell on Luckin. It's 11 o'clock. It's not the, not the ideal time for a breakout trade, but you get a, a trend as clean as this and a bottom as strong as this. I think there's going to be a lot of people stopping out uh, in front of this two even area that don't want to hold on. So uh, we're going to be jumping into the short trade there. We do still have some of our Macy's position. I want to keep coming back to this one. I took some more shares out there at 516. Now I'm going to hang out for the bigger move. Uh, I think we have a shot to maybe get down to 510. I thought maybe we get to 5 before. Just a little bit more buying action than I anticipated there. So uh, just only 20% of the position, 530 short. Now looking at a 510 target instead of 5 even. Just a little bit uh, stronger than I would have expected on Macy's here. Yeah, I'm surprised about Macy's too. I, I, I wrote down that as a... Uh I mean, we talked about it at 1480. I did like the break uh, in the pre-market uh, of 1480, but uh, maybe Brendan can give us another name here. Uh, SNCA, guys, uh, all kinds of volume in this one. Uh, kind of avoided this in the pre-market because it really wasn't doing much, uh, just coming up to uh, 130. But what a long opportunity, 130 to 140. Uh, got all the way up to 190. We've been up in this 180 to 190 range a couple of times now. Uh, both times it has rejected. Uh, sellers picking up to the downside as well. Volume starting to come back in on the downside. SNCA looking like it might be done for the day, guys. SNCA, okay. Uh, all right, here goes. I, I mean, I just can't keep talking about the same stock, can I? Uh, but you know what? When you have this kind of profits on, and I know some of you guys are talking about ACB, uh, let's just review this. So we are short here. Uh, this is another 44 cent winner, um, but this is the bottom here, 15, 15, 10. So this is where initially I was talking about uh, getting some shares out, uh, and we will do that again. And that's the thing, guys. I like to just average out of my trade. So get in one time, like we do here, one in there. We didn't average any more. We take a decent amount of shares the kind of shares that we want and now we wait for it to come back to the downside so 15 this little wick down here 15 15 we'll park an order there maybe even here 15 20 as it's coming down and then we'll wait to see what happens on a 15 break but we're loving this name today aurora cannabis back in the house guys yeah, absolutely. And I keep uh, teetering over here because Luckin is on that, well, almost on that level. They're chewing through uh, 201. So we're getting very close to that too, even. That's why we're manually looking at it. Uh, there's a name that I've been neglecting. It's that NNDM. It, it is in play. It's a decent trade here. Uh, I did miss a reload opportunity at 260, but I've been basically hanging on to the second half of this short with a break even stop here at 260. We're short at 251. Sorry, it's not a break even, but this level here at 260. If it breaks that, fine, I'm out. Otherwise, I am holding for a break of the low of the day. It's just one of those binary type of situations for me. Uh, but I'm glued to Luckin, which now looks like it's still trying to have two, two on the bid here. I just saw somebody reload a boatload of shares here at 201. Uh, it was about to take out the entire level. Looks like we might have an iceberg here and a lot of dark prints, uh, dark pool prints happening at 201. Someone's propping this one up. So the size that I was expecting to see on the bid at two even looks like it's in the dark at 201 and some iceberg orders were there as well. So there is some buy support here. Uh, if it wants to bounce, I'll probably aggressively get out of this one in front of 210. Otherwise, it's hold, two even breaks. I'm going short, guys. You know the plan. Uh, and there it is again, another swish. ACB, we get our out, and now we're falling even more. I got a bid at 08 right now, so uh, this stock just keeps on falling in. I hate to keep saying the gift that keeps on giving, that's Neil's line, but uh, ACB, wow. Uh, here we go. I mean, I'm this just, just keeps catering down. I love this trade. I hate that we're still always talking about it, but um, you know, just giving you guys some of my ins and my outs. Uh, Microsoft here. Uh, Again, guys, uh, not a name I'm liking right here. Uh, what so I got, I got to hit this man. Sure. 
You shouldn't hate it. talking about a cash register, man. Like, you gotta be kidding me. Like, this is the thing. Like, ACB's in play today. You're making money on it. Luckin's in play. We're making money on it. It's not that there aren't other things to talk about. It's just that if you have key levels coming in there that we're attuned to, we're gonna let you know what we see in our approach to it. It's hard to get away from that. As a trader, you stick to your edge. Your edge is ACB. You crush it and right. knock it out of the park. If someone else's edge is trading, I'm gonna make something up here. I have no idea. Maybe it's Eli Lilly for some reason today. I don't know why, but maybe it is. If that's your edge, and we're trading ACB and Luckin, you do what you do. It's all about sticking to your edge and making sure that you make that coinage on a consistent basis. Uh, Brendan has something for us. What do you got? Brendan? I just got alerted on Facebook here, guys. Breaking to the downside. Uh oh. How dare they sell Facebook? Let's go have a quick look. Yeah, what's going uh, on? On Facebook here, though, we're just joking around. Whoa, like Brennan said, 237, hello. Uh, yeah, we are way off, guys. If anybody uh, is not familiar with uh, the run that Facebook has had, uh, it's been epic. I mean, it's kind of Tesla-esque here. 190 all the way up and just keeps on ripping, rip, 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 rip. Uh, and uh, Facebook just keeps on going here. Uh, this is the daily chart. Really nothing to look at on a daily until we break back above, uh, below yesterday's candle, but uh, nothing happening on the daily chart. Maybe we'll have to break this down to a two or three minute chart, but Valeria has another question at the big screen, Valeria. Thank you, Sean. And hey, guys, I know that a lot of traders, beginners are watching our show. Well, today we will uh, post our next educational video, how to buy the dip. Stay tuned. We'll be sending the link out on the chat and subscribe to our educational channel, Market Wisdom by Trader TV Live. Also, guys, sign up for our free uh, morning watch list. Hit the link and put your name and email address to receive it tomorrow morning. Uh, guys, uh, yahoo.com uh, blocking our uh, watch list and considering it's as a spam we're working on that to fix that so meanwhile if you have a yahoo account please sign up with different one and of course guys thank you very much for all of your support we reached 1000 likes today let's break the record our goal today is 1200 likes hit the like button now and of course subscribe to our channel for more trading content well every day i pick one question from the chat and ask it directly to traders so we can be helpful for you. Well, uh, Neil, please explain the triangle colors and circles on the trading screen. Which one is short, long, cover, etc.? Thank you, Neil. No problem. I feel like we can't do this one enough. I know you guys, it's very, very fast what we're doing here, trading so many symbols at, at once uh, at times. I'm going to look at Luck and Coffee here just to easy example I, I talked about wanting to short a 230 break you'll see this arrow here that's the purple one that's me doing a short sell uh, every single green arrow is me buying shares now if I've gone short and I'm positioned short every time I buy I'm just buying it back uh, for profit because it happened to fall here uh, where it gets tricky is this last green arrow uh, down at 203. I did buy shares here and to go long. I was out of my short position. We don't have a way to differentiate between that. I actually think it's a pretty good idea if we can figure something out for you guys just to make it more simple. When we reverse in a stock, you can't really tell on the chart except for the fact that these arrows here are red. These red arrows are selling out of a long position. That's why they're marked differently from a short sell. So that's how you can tell that I reversed it 203. I think it'd be a good idea. Maybe we can find a way uh, to do that. I don't know if it's possible. If we can, or we'll do it for you guys. So green is any buy. Purple is a short sell. Red is a sell position out of a long. So hopefully that clarifies it for you guys there. I know it's very, very active. I've traded far too many names today. I feel like I try to keep it to maybe six or seven at the most. I'm counting it up and I've traded 12 stocks today. That's entirely too many. If I'm over 10, I've probably bungled a couple. Uh, CCL was one of them. Uh, XTNT, literally a dollar in the money in our last 10%. And two halts later, I'm getting up for a loss. It's unexcusable, 12 symbols. That's the reason I'm gonna learn from it. Yeah, don't be uh, so hard on yourself there, Neil. I love uh, to do it. You know me, man. Come on. Yeah, I know you. I know you. Yeah. And unfortunately, not unfortunately, but uh, fortunately, we've known each other for, I think, 20 years. Uh, more. Uh, what am I talking about? I keep forgetting how young we are. Uh, but uh, yeah, Neil. I remember I, the Christian, uh, the, the Grant Hill, the Christian Leitner pass, if you can believe. If you guys follow college basketball at all, yeah. we literally, between the two of us, I forget what year it was, we hit one of those game winning, uh, I did the baseball yeah. pass, turn around, turn around jump shot. I'm not going to tell you what year it was, but it was a fantastic win. But watch that. Uh, 
uh, hail to Leitner, that was me to Sean. Yeah, exactly. And uh, Neil, obviously, uh, a little longer basketball career uh, than myself, but uh, we had a lot of fun there. And uh, Blame yeah, the rugby. We, I'm not, no, no comment. I don't think, well, we went to our district, I don't know, we, we made it. Not that far, but we made the playoffs, and I think we won a couple games. But uh, uh, Actually, do you know who we lost to in the playoffs? No word of a lie. If you're a hockey fan, Manny right. Malhotra, right. the hockey player. I don't even know uh, if hockey fans might not even I had to guy. guard that guy. He was a decent hockey player, made it to the NHL. But like when we were like 15, that guy was like 220 pounds. That like was six a monster, two. yeah. He was a monster, and I had to guard that chump. It was ridiculous. So, of course, we lost that game. Uh, he definitely got the better of that matchup with, uh, with me and Sean. Yep. All right. Uh, are we waiting for Brandon or Valeria or anybody? Uh, no, I guess not. Uh, okay, that's fine. Uh, all right. So Facebook right here. Good. Good look on uh, by Brandon talking about that one coming back down uh, to the downside. I do want to bring this out. Uh, do a three-minute chart for you guys. Uh, that was a nice little uh, throwback to memory lane there. Uh, okay. What is this? Uh, Two thirty-two fifty-seven. I'm going to be going short Facebook. Two thirty-two uh, fifty-seven. Uh, Brandon, give us something else here, bud. One uh, in the financial space, guys. Uh, just popping up on a volume scanner here. Genworth. Uh, uh, broke the top. This one actually had a couple, uh, two or three, in fact, uh, price car, uh, price target cuts this morning from analysts. But yeah, big buyer just stepped up there. Huge volume spike on GNW, guys. GNW. Okay, Genworth. At this time of day, I think that's what you should be looking for. If you're going to add a symbol to your list, make sure it just popped into play, whether it's going to be a volume spike or news, whatever it might be. This is what Brandon does all morning for us. Uh, gives us some of these interesting names to look at. You can see we're heavily trading a few of the same symbols over and over again, guys. That's what's going to happen. You have your watch list in the morning. Make sure if you're not getting that, uh, you want to make sure you get that at 9 o'clock. Uh, Valeria talked about it. You can follow along with some of the levels that we're looking at, all of the stocks that we're watching in real time. Yeah, we're going to tweet some things out. Make sure you follow us out as well. Uh, for me, I apologize. Haven't been tweeting as much. The more positions and stocks I trade, the harder it is to try to tweet them out. I'll make sure I get all of them or as many as I can out to you guys later. Thank you, DKR, for the... Uh, yeah, you know, we try to give you the explanations. I know it can be tricky there, but thanks for the super chat. I hope if you have any other questions, just let us know in the chat. We'll try to answer as many as possible. Yeah, I mean, we're doing that color coding like we said on purpose there, uh, just to make it easy because we know that Neil and I uh, tend to be some maniacs here when we're trading. So uh, we do go through a lot of trades uh, for you, and that's just our style, right? I mean, uh, today 138 okay. fills uh, for me. So uh, some big trades happening uh, on both sides of the board. Right now we're looking for Facebook. This is a three-minute chart, so we're waiting for that to break down. Uh, what about Baba? We gave that to you. Uh, I think it was, what was it, 211? Wow, okay, I missed this one. Uh, this was a big trade. I gave this one to everybody, 211.60. Uh, if you have that, that's a dollar now in the money, and we keep going south side on that one. So Alibaba there, hopefully some of you guys had that. I missed it, so uh, shame on me, but uh, at least we did have that, and that's what we're talking about. Sometimes we are gonna miss some of these trades, but I've been pounding the pavement on an Alibaba short. Uh, it's never really gone against you. Uh, it did get up here to 214, depending on what your risk level is. Uh, that's not even that bad so we'll wait to see but now Alibaba cratering back to the downside watch out I'm gonna go short if it breaks this as well uh, that's 210 let's go it's almost there right now yeah you know what uh, Dane was our guest of a uh, guest trader of the day uh, our most recent one if you want to do that of course you can uh, always send us an email but he's been asking about H-U-Y-A and Dane please let me know are you short this puppy we've had a few of these uh, we've had a few of these types of names to the short side here's another down 13 percent what a great trend the only thing I can say here is uh, the trend is your friend. If it ain't broke, don't get out. I don't even see a reason why if you're short this stock uh, to be covering at this point. I mean, I got trailed out of Moderna for like a $2.20 uh, uh, you know, gross win, and I was unhappy with it because at the time I didn't feel like the trend had broken. Uh, but this same, same story here, it hasn't really put in a bottom. It's not like Luckin, which I'm sitting in, which actually is at least trying to make some kind of a bottom here. Uh, that's a clean downward trend that's unbroken and continuing to fall. So hang on if you're still short. Uh, find a place to maybe trail it or, or not. And, uh, you know, Jarhead, you're asking about Luckin. It's doing nothing and it's frustrating, so I don't want to keep talking about it over and over again. Someone asked what the red is on my chart. Uh, we had a request to keep these things clean. I try to do that. I am only looking at VWAP on this chart. I have a couple of others where I might look at a moving average from time to time in a momentum stock. But on my chart here, it's as clean as possible. It's only VWAP on the one minute chart. If you're looking at a daily, then I'll have the 200 moving average and pretty much nothing else. Try to keep it at one line so it's very clear for you guys. Um, and by the way, bang, there it is. Explode the money once again. Guess who's back, guys, uh, right here. Look at this short. Two thir I mean, we just talked about this seconds ago, guys. 232.68, uh, that was the short, well, what was my price? Uh, 232.62, and look at this out, 24. 
40 cents quick time scalp there uh, on this name, uh, Facebook to the downside there. It's not a big time risk spot for me. We're just hopping off our day right now, but yeah, bang on that one, bingo, bango, bongo. Uh, ACB still coming down. We've taken some off here, 25. We talked about that's a key level. We will wait for 15. I was at 1508 when it crashed down to 1511. So that's a banger. Uh, okay, we did get executed into, again, a small position here on Alibaba. We'll hold that one at least until up here. Uh, we'll see if we get blown out of this, but uh, 210 70 right now. We're short Alibaba, we're short Facebook. Uh, Facebook nicely in the money, and ACB 70 cents in the money. I think I heard uh, Brendan? Yeah, yeah all right, Brendan, what up? Uh, some of the cloud names, uh, guys, coming back to the downside. Now, they were actually holding up a little bit stronger than the rest of the market, but finally, cloud, uh, Cloudfair here, Net, uh, just breaking to the downside. 2780 was support all morning long. That just let go down to 2725 now in a huge volume spike for Net, guys. And uh, I'm All finally right. going to actually have a more serious look at INO here. I know it's been a good stock for me recently. I just haven't had the time to be able to get to it. It's putting in a higher bottom at 1440. This one's been on the way down. If you kind of hop to uh, uh, this uh, sort of this uh, the daily time frame, it's been on the way down all morning after this massive spike to the upside. So it fails on a big spike again. It's been on an upward trend. It does fail at a double top there at 19 and pulls back heavily. There is a bit of chop in this range. I think that's why there's at least a chance it could find a temporary bottom, maybe even just for the day or even the afternoon. So uh, you want to see if we can hold the higher low at 1440. If it does do that, it's probably got to run to 15 in it. I just wouldn't let it travel past 1440 or that low of the day at 30. One of those two has got to be your stop. Similar to why uh, this two even is my stop on Luckin. I want to manually get out of this if it goes. Now, finally on the bid, it seems like it's taking forever. It's like I, I shouldn't be betting, I shouldn't be hoping against my long position at 03 here on Lucking, but I kind of am because I wanted to go short. Uh, there is the final break. I uh, get 99 to the short side there on that break, so we get out of the uh, out of the long, into the short. Finally, uh, on Lucking Coffee, it took forever to do this. Uh, Luck and Coffee. Okay, yeah, you know what? I'm surprised I actually haven't really been looking at that one today. You've been mentioning it a lot uh, today. Luck and Coffee, and that's what we're talking about, guys. Trade stocks that you're comfortable with. Luck and Coffee, I'm pretty sure that's going to be delisted uh, at some point here. Uh, we do know that they have the approval uh, waiting. CCL uh, has been a, well, not an approval. I guess it's uh uh, it's the appeal. Uh, appeal. That's what I'm looking Probably for. Probably a formality. I knew it was no. an A word. Uh, I don't appeal. Know. Okay. Uh, 1645 here. A 1445. Sorry. On CCL, looking to break downside. Not a horrible spot. Uh, if you are looking to go short on CCL, uh, I'm out of this one again. It's 1122 now, guys. Uh, the time's getting on. So uh, with the market right here, Die just kind looking. of bouncing around. I don't. Know. Why is it not going further than a buck? It waits all this time to go 10 cents. You got to be kidding me. So uh, look, I'm going to take out. I'm going to take out just just under half my position so far in that reversal short just to make sure I get some out allowing me to load back in if it comes back to two even again that 205 that held here will probably uh, use that as a bit of a buffer if it wants to bounce upside I'll take some more shares short uh, we're gonna stay in this one every single break we try to hang on to it until it makes a firm bottom you scalp out for that short-term trade you hang on to a, a half a third whatever you're comfortable with for a bigger win luck and now down 30 percent still going Brendan what do you got a little IPO just opening today uh, it was an IPO uh, just open 26.50, 32% above uh, the $26 uh, dollar price they had uh, anticipated. But SLQT here in New York, guys, open, uh, doing decent volume, but not, not a huge mover so far, guys. SLQT, okay. Uh, yeah, lots of names to look at like we keep talking about. I'm watching this Facebook, guys. Uh, that's CCL, but I do have Facebook on over here. Uh, and we're trying to see what this wants to do. It's now 30 pennies in the money. This is exactly where I got out last time. We're waiting for a secondary push, uh, though, on this one, guys. Hopefully, uh, Facebook just continues to fall back down. Uh, target for this, uh, if you guys are wondering, there's a little bit of a bunch up down here. 231.28, that's gonna be a $1.50 winner. So uh, we'll wait here, 231.50, let's get out. That's that's kind of where we had some action in the pre-market. 231.50, 231.60 as well. We'll put this bid and see if we can't cash that out as that just keeps going down. And guess what? Here comes ACB, right to where we're talking about, baby. One, uh, 15.08, we are short right now. ACB, 15.77. So uh, this is a nice little 60 penny winner. Come on, baby, give it to us. We're, I don't know why I'm waiting at 15.08, but we are waiting there, guys. Uh, and we're hoping, bang, there it is, yes. Pigs get slaughtered, but today I wish I was one because uh, we've had 
add this one all the way down. Next stop, 15. Next up after that, 12. Let's keep the party going, guys. Big wins everywhere here today. Good. Thanks for joining us. Hit that subscribe. Hit that like. We're back tomorrow, guys. Absolutely. I'm going to go bear action here because, I don't know, we've been bearish on Macy's for... I'm not even sure how long, long? it seems like. It feels like forever, but uh, today it took for, forever not even to get to my target, just to get back to 510. And I really, really thought the 530 trade uh, would, you know, if it held up here and it was a failed breakout, it would shake everybody out and be able to get down to five even. It just hasn't felt that way. And it's, it's been better short. So as much as we finally get out of this one for a 20 cent win, fantastic, great. It was not nearly as good as I thought it was going to be on Macy's, but a winner is a winner. We'll, we'll tweet this one out. Uh, Luckin didn't get a reload up there. It didn't break too even, but it's back down to 194. So I'll hang on to most of these shares uh, until 190 breaks. Otherwise, reloading in front of 205. It is 11:25. I believe Valeria is at the big screen. Time for some in focus. Hey guys, welcome to InFocus. Quick news updates in case you missed. Apple and Google launched contact tracing uh, system for iOS and Android. Three US states already committed they're gonna use the system. Walmart sales jumped 74% in the first quarter as more people shop online. Walmart is also rushing to launch its new app to make those purchases easier. American Airlines CEO says that the company is gradually recovering, though uh, the full recovery cannot be expected until we have the vaccine. Well, that's all for today. Stay healthy, stay in focus, hit the thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and back to traders. All right, it's a lot there. Yeah, thank you, Valeria. Good, uh, good look there. Uh, some of the contact tracing, I just, I hope uh, that can come because uh, the minute that gets here, then yeah, it's going to be a party city because I really do feel that you can go back uh, to normal life once we have uh, some of that. And it's just easier to know that if you do get uh, infected with COVID-19, then there's able to trace uh, who you've been with uh, and so on and so forth and get that nipped uh, before it gets uh, to where it has been about a month or two ago. So, uh, Brendan with more, what's up, bud? I just saw this MasterCard here, guys. One of the uh, lead decliners right now for the overall market, down uh, approaching 2%. Uh, straight line, in fact, through 298, uh, down to 293 now for MA. Guys. All right. I'm going to put something on we haven't done in a while. It's been a t uh a bit of time since I put the position board on. It finally will not be as cluttered as, as it has been uh, all morning long. I just have two shorts left here. You guys know about Luckin Coffee, of course. I'm short at 199. I haven't got a chance to add to it. I also haven't taken any more out. Still just over half our position. NNDM, I've had this one like forever here, uh, but we're in the money on it. So 550 to the short side, sorry, 250 to the short side, 252 to be honest. And then 239 is worth trading right now. I'm still waiting for a break of the low of day at 234. And if I just uh, take this off here, uh, the last one is a buyout Guyana uh, being taken over. It's a cash and stock deal. Kind of a proxy play if, we, if you want to talk about this one a little bit more, a little bit deeper. Uh, they're in the silver metal space there. So when the market coming down here, a nice little bit of a long trade because it gravitates to the upside and I catch some selling to the buy side so, uh, as I buy into it. But NNDM, we did miss a reload here at 258, but look at how clean this trend is. It tries to break through, uh, fails to get through here. View up, failed break, now working down to the downside. 20% down on the day. I think it's got a very good shot to break low a day. That's why I want to hang on to these shares short. Our re-entry, I just don't want to take anything off. Yeah, you could take a nice scalp trade. I'm taking 10 cent winners on Luckin, which is a $2 name, but NNDM is a bit of a different beast for me. Uh, Luckin's doing 46 million shares. This is one is less. I'm looking for a bigger win on NNDM. The second or third day these are in play. Sometimes they're even better uh, than the first or second. So that's what we're working with here. Two shorts on. Uh, let's see if they can't go to the downside further with this falling market down 1% on the ES. Yeah, it's nice to see uh, some of these markets falling down here. So uh, good, good on that. Uh, you know, a little bit of restructure there. Dane, I know you're long that, S or long that SPXU. Hopefully, uh, I am too. Let's check out SPXU here. And again, this is a little ETF, but uh, today should be up decent. Yeah, 2.7%. You're seeing a nice little run backside on SPXU. Again, uh, those of you that are trading the markets with us, uh, you might want to look at SPY, uh, which is the spiders. That's an S&P 500 uh, ETF. There's also the triple cues. You might hear a lot of people talking about that one. This 
uh, triple Qs, there it is. Uh, yeah, uh, there's a lot of people talking about this one. Uh, this is the NASDAQ 100. So uh, as you can see here, we'll check out the daily chart. Uh, we don't have to tell you what the NASDAQ has done from the bottom. 170 up to 230. Obviously, I think a lot of this is probably a little bit overdone. Uh, but yeah, the NASDAQ, what a rebound. I mean, look at this march up led by Microsoft, Apple, Amazon, uh, Facebook, and so forth. And then they led the march down and then straight back up. So, uh, the, you know, if you can't trade futures or you do trade futures, uh, these are the big names to look at here. Triple Qs uh, and S&P 500. Oh, yeah. Someone was asking, I saw about uh, the frog. Look, until I have a negative day, I mean, Lucky Frog will be here. Uh, my daughter made this for me, so shout out to you, Gia. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, I think she's pretty good coloring in the lines and everything, so uh, pretty proud of her there. So uh, thank you, Gia, for that one. And uh, we keep going on. And my wife always makes sure she buys Crayola. Maybe that's uh, a tip for you guys as well there, Neil, because the kids like to draw on not just paper, uh, but people's faces and uh, floors and um, oh, yeah. furniture and stuff like that. So so buy the good stuff, guys. You don't need uh, Yeah, there's some things you don't scrimp on, to be yeah, perfectly yeah. honest. And uh, yeah, that's definitely one of them. Because they'll do exactly what you tell them not to do on a consistent basis. And that's why I was cleaning Especially grass kids, out of yeah. my daughter's hair uh, in the evening yesterday. I, I did something else. I know I told you and Brendan this. Right. I wasn't going to say it. But uh, I was sort of proud of myself because I managed to, without an exterminator, manually catch a couple of mice that were hanging around. and. Uh, Sorry, Valeria, for bringing that one up. I know you don't like it. But hey, they're gone. And then maybe we'll catch the one that was here. Maybe we won't. I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. There's a mouse running around here right now. Uh, Arun saw one yesterday, so... Uh, I wasn't going to say anything, I promise. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, it's, Valeria. It's back, Valeria, yeah, so watch out there. Uh, Valeria, not a big fan of mice. One day after the show, there was one running right behind me here, and Valeria basically freaked out. I thought she was having a heart attack. Um, and then, uh, no, but it was a mouse. So, uh, yeah, Valeria not really liking the mice. Uh, aspect of, uh, of everything, but uh, yeah, okay. Look, we just keep going on and on and on here. We could basically talk forever, guys. Hit that like, hit that subscribe. It's been a banger for me today. We've talked about a bunch of different trades that we've had on, and uh, today it's been not too many names, uh, but it's been Baba. We still have that on. We still have Facebook on, and we have Baba on right now, so uh, this Baba is short right here, so we're trying to wait to see if this one wants to get going. We're short 210 right at this level. Brendan. Uh, another one from yesterday, guys. We were talking about lows coming back to the downside here as well. This one uh, gapped up. We'll scroll over to yesterday. Huge gap up in the pre-market after earnings, but just kind of faded all day long. So giving you that same kind of look here. Uh, 121 held as resistance up there. Bit of a pullback here. Let's see what happens at 118.60, 118.50, guys, uh, for lows. A uh, little bit weak right now, guys. I just want to make a point here. I did answer this one in the chat, but we got a comment saying, hey, it's dangerous to short something like a luck in one headline and it can blow up on you. I 100% I, I agree with that sentiment. We're day trading here. I have stop orders. I have levels that I'm working off of. Uh, you'll see me all the time short into stocks that are moving up, look for retracements, stick with a short trend all morning long. It's different in Moderna than it would probably be in something like a Luckin, but you have to have a level. I have not taken a single short here where I didn't have an out, uh, where I didn't either have a stop order or had my hands on the keys or with the level two right here next to me to make sure that I can get out promptly if there is any kind of a move. I feel like if you don't stick to your rules when you're shorting, you'll get into way more trouble than going long most of the time. It's a much more dangerous game. but. If you're not willing to trade in both directions, I feel like you're just going to be giving away profit uh, if you're a day trader. So I am going to short a stock in a downtrend. That's just, it is what it is. I'm not going to shy away from something like a luck and down 30% today. I am rolling over some more shares here. I uh, just took some at 01s. I am going to add some at 03 possibly. 05 is a hard stop for me on this one. If it gets back down to 190, yeah, I'll take some off. But I am still looking to see if it can continue to break these lows all day long. But I do aggressively get out. When these things break, and other people are, are, are getting stopped out yeah. on a key level break and I'm already short, I'm getting out when they're punching. If they're getting out uh, of their long, they've hung on to too long, I like to take advantage of some of that and have some bids layered down there to be able to take advantage of that panic. So I, I do aggressively get out when it works in my favor. That's what you gotta do, guys. Yeah, I, I mean, great, great point. Thanks for bringing that up. Yeah, I mean, we don't go long or short uh, for very long periods of time, right? And so uh, I'm glad that Neil talked about that for those of you that are on the show. Uh, most of the time, every trade that I get in, I'll talk about it being a scalp. If there's a trade like an ACB here uh, that we have longer term targets on, I basically gave everybody these targets. I told you that I was waiting at 50, then I was waiting at 25. We got that out. Then I was waiting at 1508. I even gave you the exact price. So now we have, we have like 5%, we have nothing left here. 
We get out of some here as it breaks back above 1440, and now we're out of ACB. So uh, that's how it works. We scalp in, we scalp out. That's the trader lifestyle, and uh, we're doing it for you guys uh, here every single day. Hit that like, hit that subscribe. 11.33 right now, Brendan. Uh, another one to uh, look at uh, possibly throughout the rest of the day here, guys. Still doing decent volume. This OVID up about 18%. They had a U.S. patent issued uh, for a new treatment that they are working on. Little therapeutics company. Uh, another one, very, very small market cap on this one. So be careful uh, if it does get going. Uh, this thing could go for a run. But OVID up about 18%, guys. Mm. Uh, just noticing here, you guys are talking about surf. How did I not look at this one? I got halts. One, two, three, four, five halts on the way up. Uh, holding the top end of the range before finally gravitating lower. And I look at this consolidation uh, here, 675 a couple of times. Uh, you have high of day that you can use. I'm going to guess I probably have to pay to short. I'm going to look at this one because uh, I see something like this up 68%, uh, failing to make new highs after a parabolic move in the morning, and I'm probably going to fade it. So I'm going to look for a short here. Something in front of 675, I feel like you probably got to give it to 720 is a more reasonable target there. So uh, we might go with both. Uh, first half of the position out for the tight stop, the second half of the position out, hold it a little bit longer. And same way if it breaks down, you get out some of it in front of 580, hang on to the rest, uh, probably to get down to this five even mark where there was a little bit of chop on the way up. So SURF, someone said get out while you can because it's probably coming back down. That tends to be my approach when I'm looking at some of these names as well. You get these parabolic breakouts. Usually uh, when they fail to make uh, a higher highs going into the afternoon, a lot of people run to the exit. So I will be looking to do that as well, but I'll be short selling on SURF. It is 1135. Let's go to the big screen uh, for the European close. Hey traders, welcome to European Update. Europe is closed and I would like to update you on the numbers. Britain is down 0.73%. Germany is down 1.41%. France is down 1.16%. Russia is down 1.79% and Italy is down 0.8%. Guys, that's all with Europe and I'll keep you updated tomorrow. And just some quick announcement, we reached 22.6 subscriptions. Guys, hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet and catch us live every day at 9 a.m. Eastern Time. That's all for now and back to traders. And the Valeria Batman right there, you get the, oh, oh. Okay, I only got hit twice there, oh, thank God. Ooh, well, I was waiting there for you. Uh, Valeria. We gave nightmares to Valeria not too long ago because uh, that Valeria Batman just kept going and going and going and going. Kind of like that. There it comes again, Valeria. There. Whoa. whoa, whoa. Oh, you have the hair in the bun today, too. So there you go. Uh, Valeria Batman back in fashion today. Uh, okay. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, here we go. Um, all right. Uh, ACB. Is it still going? Yeah. <laughs> Stop it, Rob. That's yeah, too, too much. much. Uh, okay. Uh, another name here, CGC. Uh, yeah, we have a big production team. Big. I mean, I guess it's not that big uh, behind us. But uh, Rob and Lucas, what's going on, guys, today? Thank you. Glad you're having fun. So are we, guys. Join the party every single day. Over 1,000 subscribers. Uh, Valeria, you said 22.6. That's 22.6 thousand uh, subscribers. So thank you so much for that, guys. Another 1,000 spot there. Once we get to 30, we can do some more fun things, including, uh, well, we can already do this, but uh, we're set. Uh, I don't know what camera we're on. Okay, this one. Uh, merch, if you want to buy a Trader TV cup, send a picture in. Uh, we'll put you on TV once you get your cup. Uh, but yeah, those are up on the website with a plain T as well that Lucas likes. So check that out. There's going to be more stuff coming. Uh, there's some, some fruits. Oh, speak of the devil, guys. We haven't even talked about this yet. It is, guess what time it is, guys. There it is. You hit it. It's fruit salad time. And if you're not, there it is. If you're uh, first time on the show, welcome to this ridiculous segment that we have. And it is fruit salad time here. And today, not super colorful. A lot of honeydew in here. I love honeydew melon, but uh, you got some pineapples there, some watermelon, and yeah, it is fruit salad time. It's 11:37. As you can see, we've had none of this. Uh, it's way too much. I'm not. I don't know if I'll be able uh, to fill it all, uh, but we'll see here. We put it up there. Oh, a little grape there. I like the little hidden grape at the bottom there. Let me know what you guys like. Yeah, this is code for something. Got a dollar says you can't yeah, yeah. finish grape, it by the end of grape. show. Grape means trade Walmart, I guess, but uh, there we go, guys. Uh, no, it does not mean that. It does not mean that, but we did have some fun with that yesterday. Um, welcome to Fruit Salad Land. Uh, I hope you guys like fruit salad. A good way to get sugars naturally if you're not having them refined, right, Brendan? No? 
Sure, why not? No, because you, know, you're, 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 you, you, are, you hate sugar. So I think fruit salad, I sometimes <laughs> uh, I don't think that's what it is. Brendan doesn't hate sugar. Brendan just uh, knows that he shouldn't. Like, uh, he's just disciplined with uh, uh, his eating habits. I know he's way more disciplined than me because if I see a cookie, I got to have it. If I see a stock up 65%, you I got to short it. So uh, SURF, I did get into this one at 653. I, I did mention I'm kind of uh, switching things up a little bit here. I am going to go with two stops. Uh, this double this double area here at 675, first stop there, risking about 20 cents, so smaller trade. I will add to this position if I can, a little tighter to that 75, and then give that to 720, uh, just to see if we can't get a bigger trade in there, maybe down to five even. So two targets to the downside, two outs uh, to the upside, uh, kind of doing two things at once, while also trading luck in. And this is the short that we're going to get out of breaks 205. Didn't want to give it too much room on that short. We did take a lot out for that sort of 5 to 10 cent scalp win. And then we'll short here again at 201 half. And I'm going to get out of 05 breaks. So you'll give back that 5 cents. Uh, you make 5 to 10. That'll be a flat trade overall, basically, on that short. Not enough for me to jump into the long on Luckin again. Uh, but that could be happening. You get, a, you get a bottom like that at 2 even. And then you can't really get the home run trade on a 2 even break. If it breaks and holds uh, above two, two, uh, 2 to 205 or so, we're probably going to look to get into another long trade. And that one could give you that 220 mark that I know some of you guys have been looking for. It hasn't happened yet, but we're now hunting for it. Again, I don't love luck and coffee, uh, but if it holds this base and it's a fail breakdown at 2 even, could be a long going back into VWAP, guys. Yeah, we'll see. I see who makes our fruit salad. Well, we're actually blessed uh, to get a caterer coming through. So, uh, yeah, um, I'm not sure the caterer's name, but uh, whatever. It's just a caterer. So uh, I topped that off before the show. Nice enough to have it. Uh, and thank you again uh, for that. So, uh, yeah, fruit salad uh, coming into play here today once again. Uh, so, yeah, uh, that's who makes it. And it's a caterer. Uh, I'll find out for you guys if you're in the Toronto area, but I don't know if that matters. So, uh, okay, guys, uh, just looking here. Baba, we're still waiting. Uh, it does go in the money. A little bit. We're waiting for this break. Once again, we talked about that 21070. It looks like that'll happen and we'll pop out of Alibaba, Brendan. I'm just reading a little bit more, uh, Sean, catching me off guard there. I was reading a little bit more on this L brand story here, guys. Obviously, earnings was the main uh, catalyst aftermarket yesterday, but they also said they're going to close uh, 250 stores of Victoria's Secret. Uh, in North America in the coming months. So uh, still a positive look here. I mean, the market very weak. This thing holding guys above this 14 here. I mean, Albert, that could be a good thing, closing stores. I mean, it's cost cutting. Um, I was explaining some of this to my kid who finally uh, turned 18. He signed up for his first trading account, mm -hmm. bought some Air Canada. I was like, eh, Air Canada, okay. Uh, I don't know if anyone's flying anymore, but he can only buy Canadian stocks uh, using the app that he's using. So, uh, okay, uh, L Brands, that's what we're talking about. What am I talking about? Okay, uh, here we go, 1480. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Good little move up. Nice to see when you start cost cutting and getting things back. L Brands was also, as you guys know, part of some of that private equity takeover rumors. Uh, so you did have uh, some movement on L L brands lately looks like it's trying to break out it's above this 50 period so you have my blessing uh, on a long but uh, 1527 it needs to get to there uh, to break out completely so 1525 look for that on L brands especially uh, to my left did you say uh, especially if you are looking uh, at holding something a bit longer L brands a good little play there Wow 15 million shares today yeah I saw a comment in there and I'm gonna gonna go over this SURF again someone says yeah it's not a good time to go short it I would, I, I understand exactly where you're coming from here, but if you're going to be shorting stocks like this, you look to make some profit, uh, sometimes you've got to be able to get into a trade when other people are activating into long, or when they're holding a long, or when they think they want to build a long in a consolidation like this, because a lot of the profit that you make shorting here is when people get stopped out. So if it does break this 6 even, if it does break that 580, uh, I want those longs to get broken and that's going to be my profit point. So as long as I'm disciplined with my stop here, it's a risk to reward thing. With a 53 short, you risk 25 to 30 cents to make two times that at a minimum on a downward trend. And if it breaks this level here, you're probably making five or six X. So as long as you're disciplined, you pick your spots and have a setup that works for you, sometimes you have to think about what other traders are seeing in the chart and understand that going against them, betting against that, can be heavily profitable uh, when a lot of these things are coin flips. So that's what I'm looking at in SURF. It's a very specific type of setup. I've seen it blow up before, but as long as I don't lose more than 30 cents on this entry, then I've done well because the upside certainly is better than that.
Yep, exactly. I mean, that's great. Great way to look at it. a lot of people using the same levels uh, as their stops. So I think that's uh, the key thing there. You got to watch out what you're doing. And uh, yeah, again, guys, we fall in the hole. This is our first real loser. But again, we did talk about it not being major shares. You'll always hear me talk when we have a big position on. I will always tell you that. And I told you that this Alibaba was just a tester spot here, but we did lose 70 cents. So again, I don't know what I just did, but we'll flush ourselves down uh, if I didn't do that one. So there's a loser for you. We honest with our trades. Uh, we just don't harp on the winners. This was a two, 210 break. Uh, and then I gave you the out right there at that resistance. Uh, so that's 70 cents. So there it is. Uh, I guess it's probably 80, 80 cents or so uh, on the loss, uh, all things considered. So Alibaba falls down, guys. Our fault goes up, I guess, and I fall down. So there you go. Alibaba giving me a little bit of loss from top here today. Uh, Brendan, what's up, bud? Uh, during the uh, sector watch, guys, we were talking about some of the retailers being very, very strong today. Here's another one. EXPR just uh, topping out at two there, uh, about 12% to the upside. Yeah, this is two right up here. Uh, they are an apparel retailer, obviously, but this entire group, very, very strong. I uh, just wanted to, uh, you know, display some relative strength here. The market, obviously, weak coming to the downside. Uh, this thing making new highs on the day. Also, that select quote still going. Uh, worth a look, possibly, guys. Uh, was very, very small IPO, 25 million or so, uh, but SLQT still going. SLQT. I don't know that stock, and that's why Brendan comes with the fire for us because uh, there's so many names uh, being traded, and you guys know that. So uh, you got to watch out for some of these hot fire names uh, coming through. And uh, there we go again. I'm just looking at Alibaba still. Neil, you got any names we have? No, I'm, I'm looking at this luck, and it's like three times now that someone is holding up this level of 205, which is fantastic for me here. Uh, being a last, well, I don't know, I'm not saying it's my last short of the day on this stock, but it could be uh, if it breaks this 05. I think the longer we have this, iceberg holding uh, 205 the better a breakout it's probably going to be so if you're looking for a long break on luck in this might be your spot here uh, i am still net short at, at uh, 01 half we've been short all the way down since it broke uh, at 230 uh, we're going to continue that party here but it looks like it might break out so we could have our first loss of the day on luck and coffee when you're trading the trend and aggressively doing so a lot of times you got to accept the fact that that last trade is going to be a loser uh, fortunately we took enough profit down at the bottom this will be a flat trade for me. I'm not reversing long. Uh, I think it's not a horrible idea. I would prefer to see it break this 05, uh, maybe flush back down, you know, shake some of those guys out long, and then maybe catch something closer to two or maybe even like a 195 or so. I think that would be ideal for me if I'm going to turn to the long side trade in Luckin. Uh, Brendan, something else. Uh, Hormel Foods. We mentioned uh, also the f uh, food names. Uh, Tyson, another one in negative territory today. But uh, this one, HRL reporting earnings, guys, uh, before market this morning, got flushed at the open. 48 all the way down to 45. Uh, we're now holding, or sorry, 46. We're now holding, guys, as resistance uh, below that 46 market. Uh, very weak still. So uh, one to look at possibly to the downside, guys. Hormel. Okay, yeah, I mean, right now we only have 15 minutes left, guys. Thank you for joining us uh, today. It's been a big, big day. Uh, needless to say, thank you for all the subscriptions. Thank you for everything. We're doing this for free, so hit that like, hit that subscribe, tell your wife, tell your friends, uh, tell everybody, because uh, there's a nice little, ooh, I like that one, little thumbs up there uh, on the screen. Good job, guys. Uh, but yeah, today, here's my little floss thing. Uh, what, what what number did we need for Valeria to floss? I was today? about to ask the same thing. I'm kind of curious here. What do we got to get to? One million? No. What, no. what was it, Valeria? Oh, 30,000. Okay, okay. So we'll get to there uh, in the next little while. Maybe not today, uh, but we'll wait on 30,000. That should be fun uh, to see that come through. But uh, for you guys, though, it's been a great day uh, for us. We're looking at a bunch of different names here. Uh, one name that we haven't looked at that I know a lot of you guys are excited about, and it's been my arch nemesis for the beginning of this month, which is why I've sort of stepped away from it. Uh, and that was our boy Uber. Uh, Uber involved in some Grubhub uh, news here, but look at this move up. Hard to ignore this one. 33.50 bottom there. Uh, let's just break this down into like a three minute or let's go back to 10 minutes. Let's just see why. Uh, what was key there about 33.50? Uh, if we can find that out. Uh, okay, it was kind of the bottom there a couple days ago uh, after market. Yesterday we didn't get anywhere near there. So 33.50, kind of a funny spot for that to bounce, but we'll wait to see if it does that again on the upside. Now we're in this kind of consolidation period. That's a top side 34.20, bottom side 33.90. So uh, Uber right now, eh, it's not really super exciting uh, to me. Let's see if we can look at a three minute chart. And at this time of day, Neil and I talk about this all the time. You got to sort of pick and choose what you're trying to do yep. uh, because there's not too many opportunities uh, heading into one of the most famous traders uh, with our firm calls this the HFT hour, but it's not an hour. It's 11 till three. It's four hours. So right now you might get chopped out here if you look to trade some of this, but just as a coincidence, and Neil, I'll throw it back to you in a minute, but 33.50 bottom, right? 
34, I mean 34, 10, but basically 34 tops. So this is in a nice little 50 cent range. If you want to play the scalp spot, I don't think this is a horrible one to do it on, and that's Uber, guys. Yeah, I'm actually looking at Moderna here, which has held 65 very well. You guys want to see Valeria Floss for real. I don't want to see, well, I, that's fine to look at, but we, we want to see someone do a live floss. I know I can't do it. It's a little too tricky for me. I'm old. It is what it is. Uh, but I got to get to Moderna before this happens because I was just mentioning in what? the chat here, it holds 65 well. It's holding a consolidation above that at 66. 67 looks like a potential break. I don't know if it'll be in the next few minutes or so. Maybe it's going to be uh, after lunchtime. Who knows? Who cares? Uh, let's have a look at 67 when it happens. It was a big flush through that price earlier in the morning when I was short it. Uh, it looks like it's finally making a bit of a base of operations uh, for you to try along. So uh, Moderna 67, uh, add that to your list for a quick little long scalp. Maybe it gets to VWAP 69, probably some chop up there. Uh, that was our original short area in front of that 70. So I would expect it to slow down if it gets into that range. But I think there's a winning trade in there for you if you grab that one. Uh, Luckin, this 205, whoever is selling at 205, thank you. Uh, um, you know, it's back down to two even. My price is 01 half. I'm probably not taking anything out till it gets closer to that 192, uh, 93 for that little eight, nine, 10 cent type of a win. And I'm not sure I'm going to be adding to this short position at this time of day, but we'll sort of take it off on the way down here. We're continuing this trend. We shorted this little pop here. Uh, we have a video coming out. And uh, I, I'm not buying any dips right here. I am shorting this pop, which is kind of the reverse. But uh, we're going to—it's it's about pop. buying the dip. Uh, how you can execute strategies to allow you to do so. It's good for uptrending stocks. Some of you will know that. Uh, certainly, it's something we will do here from time to time. But uh, uh, we are going to be dropping that one at the end of the show. Uh, you can come on, watch it. We'll stick around with the chat. Let us know what you think about it. Most of all, please comment on the video. If there's something you think we should be doing better yeah. or could have covered a little bit better, more clear, let us know all about it. If there's a video you'd like us to do, something you want to learn about, throw that in there as well. We're here to try and educate everybody as best we can and have a little bit of fun, make some trades. That's what we're all about here. Yeah, no, and that's another good point there. We've been creating some videos uh, based on the demand that we think is out there. So let us know if there's anything that you guys are like, ah, you know what, I'd really like to know more about why uh, these guys are doing something, whatever it is, uh, whether or not that be shorting or uh, you know any sort of terminology maybe uh, that you're unaware of. Neil did a great job there explaining what the colors are uh, on our charts. And uh, here comes ACB back. This is now we're holding, we, did, we do have now finally that last 10% on as we take some out here, 1538 uh, on that drop back down. But yeah, that video being released in a couple minutes uh, by the dip. We have other ones out there short selling what is VWAP, a bunch of them. Uh, check it out on that page dropping very soon. Valeria will have the link in five minutes. Uh, Mr. Wickens. Uh, AKTS, guys, one to possibly look at throughout the afternoon here, popping up to 850, almost 850 up here. Big time level for AKTS. Yes, there was a little bit of positive news on this name uh, in the pre-market this morning. If we get to 850, let's see what happens. But nice run up, about 6%. Uh, for this name as well, absolutely stick around. Uh, another couple minutes here. Uh, Valeria is going to have the link to our brand new educational video, guys, on how to buy the dip. Very, very popular phrase that you hear all over the place. Uh, how do I buy the dip? What do I look for? We're going to cover all of the important topics when it comes to uh, you want to find a strong stock, obviously, trending uh, to the upside. We're buying a pull back. Uh, we'll talk about all of that in our Buy the Dip video. A couple more minutes, guys, and we'll send the link out. Have a look at that. Hit the like. Hit the subscribe. Great job on the subscriptions today. Uh, we really appreciate it. We can notify you then when we come back on. Guys. Thanks a lot, Brennan. Uh, sometimes you got to roll the dice. I saw some of you guys on there saying stop him out. Look, honestly, like, People trade in different directions. I've been short a stock and Sean's been long a stock here. So if you're long in surf and you want it to go up, I, you know, I'm all for you right there. Uh, like I said, I am taking some shares out in front of six. Uh, I might consider taking some out in front of 580, although I would prefer to see that break as well. I haven't had a second entry into this position. Uh, I think if it pops up, I'll, I'll definitely take that one. If I do that, I'll, pr I'll probably take aggressively more shares out in front of 580. Uh, we've already taken a 40 cent winner on it. But again, if it breaks that 580 mark, I am expecting a test down to five even. So I want to make sure I'm exposed to that. You're not really taking this short if you're not holding some for that break of 580 and, and trying to get five even otherwise. Uh, when people try to stop you out, uh, you're not going to make enough money to pay for those chip, uh, the, those chip shots that you're going to be taking every single day when you try this type of a short. I want to let you guys know, 
I did write down some of these names here. I have like a pen and pad. I should have used my iPad for it, but I didn't. I wrote down some of the ideas you dropped in the chat for a video. I think they're all very good. Keep those coming. We're, to try, we're gonna try to do as many as we can, or all of them uh, that are good suggestions. We'll throw them on there. It's all about you guys educating, having a little bit of fun. I'm gonna throw the position board up. I got a few shorts here. I just mentioned, of course, surf short at 653. Just took some out there at 13 for 40 cent win. Hanging on, I want a break of 580. I want about five even as a target. I don't know why this didn't come on. Let's try it here again. Is it gonna show up? Come on, let's Come on. go. Finally, the position there board comes up. Is. I am still short lucking. 201 half is my price. If it breaks down about 195 or so, I'll start taking off some for profit. And NDM, it feels like I've been in that forever because I have. I'm short at 252. I am waiting for a break of low of day on NNDM. And it's very binary for me. It's either getting above 260 or it's breaking this low at 234 and then flushing up, you know, probably to two even there, and I'll get a bigger win on that one. So it's a different style of trade to Luckin, even though they're very similar. Uh, hanging on for a home run in NNDM. I'm just being very, very patient with it. It's given me very little reason to get out of it, so I'm just gonna hang on for dear life. I did take some profit earlier on the same short, so it's not like I'm throwing money away here. I do believe it has a good shot if 230 goes, probably headed to two even on NNDM. Yeah, you know, don't talk about throwing away money. We don't want to do that uh, at all. But uh, yeah, you know what, guys? It was, I mean, uh, look up statistics, whatever you want. This is a good video. Oh, if you follow my, uh, not Facebook, uh, Twitter, that's what it is. I, I may launch it. Let me know if you want me to launch an Instagram page uh, for here. I don't, I don't know if you guys use Instagram more uh, or Twitter more, but uh, maybe we'll get Instagram going uh, for each of us. Just hard to post on both things. But uh, there's one there yesterday where I talked to Dane, and I know Neil did a great job as well, but we clipped it uh, talking about being a professional trader and what that means and some of the uh, discipline that's required and whatnot. So find me on Twitter. I pinned it on the top. It's at Trader TV, Sean, Neil, and Brendan. We all have accounts. So uh, find us there and uh, hopefully you'll be able to watch that and get a little bit more into the psyche of uh, what we teach our traders. We're sitting on a floor here uh, in Toronto, Ontario, Canada, which makes me uh, remember that we've got to hit the O Canada flag, obviously patriotic here as well. So, uh, but, uh, you know, everybody at home, stay safe. The big thing is if you're learning trading for the first time, nothing wrong with shying away from some paper trading uh, and just learning your craft uh, before you put some real money in. Some people tweeting me, I blew up my account, blah, blah, blah. What should I do? I mean, there's lots more to come from our educational side, but look at some of those videos, get a hint. And I, I see the time, guys, it's 11.55, so I think it's almost video time, if not right now. So uh, did you drop it? Yeah. She it dropped it, dropped. so Valeria okay. dropped the video. Go have it, check it out, run to it, uh, but wait until the show's over. We still got five minutes, <laughs> uh, and then go check it out. But the video's up there, guys. Let us know what you think about it. We're really proud of it. Uh, a bunch of other ones. I see some questions about support and resistance. Yeah, those videos are there as well, guys. Yeah, we did do a one on support and resistance. Again, if you, you know, check it out. If you think there's things we can cover, a lot of the first ones we'll do are a kind of a beginner aspect right. to what we can dive deeper a little bit later. But if there's things you want us to add, let us know. Uh, we need that feedback to give you guys exactly what you're looking for. I know there's only about four minutes left. I went over some of our positions here, uh, but it is also time to go over some earnings, expecting a few, uh, few names to be dropping uh, after hours today and then before the market open tomorrow. So let's go to Brendan for the earnings calendar. I'll give you uh, one more name to oh. have a look at as well, guys. Uh, N-E-R-V up about four and a half percent. Huge volume spike just coming in there on uh, NERV. They actually reported in the pre-market this morning, so uh, earnings were decent for Minerva, up 4% today as well. But yeah, let's have a look at what is coming up after market today and before the open tomorrow when it comes to uh, earnings names. We've had some great opportunities this week uh, as far as earnings names go. And yeah, look at that. NVIDIA on there, guys. Intuit, another one that we like to look at as well. Well, I mean, NVIDIA is going to lead the way for me. I'm very, very there it is, Alibaba is gonna be there for the win tomorrow uh, as well. Yeah, I can't believe it's Thursday already. I've been pounding the pavement on Alibaba uh, for quite a while. I told a lot of people to buy it, but yesterday with that Chinese news though, Neil, I'm not sure, I still like Alibaba. I think it'll be a big quarter. I'm not sure it's investable, but we will trade that tomorrow. Uh, yeah, and Burberry, I don't know. But Nvidia and Alibaba, that's where my eyes will be. Anything? Yeah, you better be. believe it. I mean, Foot Locker, Foot Locker probably because it. it's just, I, I don't know. I have an affinity for shorting some of these names. So I, obviously it's gonna 
to be uh, all about Alibaba. That's going to be you know be the thing about Foot Locker. Moment. Let me throw this at you guys quickly. You mentioned the Michael Jordan thing, and Neil, I think that it, there's a lot of good. Air Jordan uh, support right now for those shoes, from what I've seen. So I'm just wondering if Nike and Foot Locker uh, are sort of attached at the hip there. We'll see about that tomorrow. That's a fair point, and if, like I, I, this is it's not for me to promote a Netflix show, to be honest with you. But I just finished watching like episode ten of that. Uh, it's really really good if you're a basketball fan, and you're going to be uh, love it. If you're as old as I am and you remember the Bulls, man, that was a heck of a lot of fun uh, to go back forward to. But uh, we get to find out what day it is. It's a segment that we all love here. Uh, it's a surprise for us. I have no idea what national day it is. Let's go to Valeria to find out. Hello, trading family. First of all, thank you very much for all of your support. We break all the records today. We reach 1,200 likes and we reach 22,600 subscribers. Guys, welcome everyone to the trading community. We are live every day starting at 9 a.m. Eastern Time. Uh, the intraday goes from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. So guys, follow Neil, Sean and Brandon and Trader TV account on Twitter. Guys keep posting their chats, they write a lot of important information so follow them and follow trader tv live on social media and thank you very much for all of your super chats guys well we launched our next educational video on how to uh, buy the deep and how to improve this strategy and become a better trader guys watch the video now hit the link and subscribe for our educational channel we will be posting videos constantly and write in the comments under the video how to buy the deep what what next video would you want us to make uh, write it there because in the live chat we can just uh, lose it and there it will be forever and we will discuss it together and guys as usual I'm saying what national day is today so today is the national strawberries and cream day okay it looks like a little strawberry parfait there yeah that's good I, I mean I love strawberries uh, those of you that know uh, sometimes there's strawberries in the fruit salad and it's just funny that today there isn't so national strawberry day um, I guess you, Brendan, and Neil, uh, we here, anyways, have a lot of strawberry farms and patches. Love to go. Almost the season. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Love to go strawberry picking. So uh, that's one thing that we do with the family uh, as it gets closer and closer, like you just mentioned there, Brendan, uh, to the proper season. Fun times. Yeah, every year I know we do strawberry picking. The only thing I will say is I actually don't like whipped cream and I get a lot of flack for this. I do not touch the stuff. My brother literally just will sit there with the can and like do that whole I can't do it I'm not a big fan of it but strawberries all day every day I thought I saw them in the fruit salad I'll go check I have mine at the desk I'll be eating it after uh, but Brendan what how do you feel in the whipped cream I feel like you're with me yeah I don't do dairy so I'm gonna oh, I'm gonna be yeah, a hard pass on the uh, on the whipped cream there are alternatives obviously but uh, yeah whipped cream uh, not a fan not a fan either Neil there it is, guys. Last thing before we wrap it up and get out of here, make sure you check out our Buy the Dip video. Valeria has posted the link. Let us know what you think. Drop some, uh, drop some comments in there. Uh, yay or nay? How could we cover it better? What topic should we do next? We are going to take all of that feedback and see if we can't improve our future videos. We're going to keep them churning out, and we'll be back here uh, 9 o'clock every single morning. Get that watch list. Follow along with us for the entire team. Valeria, get us to 30,000 subscribers so we can see your floss. <laughs> Not yet. Gifting the heart. Oh, there you the go. Heart. Okay, that wasn't go. the Bieber heart. You're supposed to do, uh, I don't know. Is that That's how something it works? with your hands, yeah. That, I don't know. I, I have problems with my hands, so. She like, can't do it. Okay, she can practice that. Either way, Sean, like, you know, Sean, Mr. Uh, didn't even touch his fruit salad today. Bit. How is it fruit salad? Ah, halfway. That's not it's too not bad. It's not fruit salad day. Remember, that was like last week, yeah, yeah, which I still right. think it's a scam, by the way. But. It is a scam. We made that one up for you guys. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> and of course, as always, Brandon Wiggins at the desk doing a fantastic job. I'm Neil Roberts. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. This is Trader TV Live, and we will see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.